can we start? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So session 35. 30 35. 34. 34. What? Stop doing this. 35. Nope. Uh, it's 34. It's something. It's 35. No. It is 34. It's doesn't 35. matter, guys. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's just play. Didn't we? I even labeled the YouTube video as 34. If it's not 34, I'm a. I'm no, a it's loser. 35. I'm going to count every <laughs> every no, note I've ever 30, taken. It's, it's in the 35. Last year. I'm just trying to check because you said I was bad at note taking. So I'm just trying to make sure Don't you know. Okay, Jake. Look at her shirt. I want to make sure you know. Yeah, there's also a semi-naked semi lady on here, but we would just uh, <laughs> put that down Oh there. my god, YouTube's going to demonetize <laughs> your video. Big <laughs> one. Okay. So last time that we met, you guys started with putting out a fire. You had seen smoke rising behind the business of Anchorage Fish, where you guys had... Um, been to try and strike a deal between Anchorage Fish and Bly Fisheries, another big fishery in the town of Port Rasulka. And you were trying to reach some type of agreement between the two because Bly Fisheries wanted Anchorage Fish to be out of business. And they had hired the Ring of Grey Sheaves people, <laughs> Sheaves Association, to help with mm -hmm. striking this deal. Originally, Blyes had asked you guys to destroy one of the Anchorage fish rigs, and you guys decided to try to talk things through instead. Um, so you ended up going to talk to the Anchorages. You saw this smoke rising, and you went to go investigate. You guys quickly jumped into action, um, finding out that there were animals in, inside the burning building, um, and you met this young tiefling by the name of Ecreus Anchorage. And he told you there was also a metal man inside that he wanted you to get out. But you guys were quite successful in handling the animals, aside from one small incident with a donkey. <laughs> and you guys were able to get out two horses and a dog, um, as well as the metal man that Ecreus had asked you to save. And after a little bit of scolding um, to Ecreus, it turns out he had started the fire on accident when trying to tinker with this metal man. Uh, you guys decided you had bigger fish to fry, and you headed for some lunch where you discussed what to do next, and you guys decided to go to Bly Fisheries under the promise to Ecreus that you would return for him, because he seemed quite excited about meeting you guys. He said to you that he had some information um, he spoke about the war and he, he asked you guys, um, if like, he kind of had made this comment about you, like, you guys know there's a war going on, right? And you guys were all like, yeah, like we're kind of involved. And he was, seemed surprised to hear this and seemed like he wanted to talk to you more about it, but was hesitant to do it in front of his mom and his family. So you, needless to say, you guys said you were going to come back for him later on. So some of you headed out for, um, to Bly Fisheries. You guys did shop at the shop first where you looked at a spell scroll but didn't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> but, with, it. but with this actually was an important scene because that was where you guys found out from the shopkeep, Guther the Orc, that the Cadboro Temple north of town had been overrun by goblins for like the last couple of years. And he mentioned that some of those goblins were probably going to be at the tavern, the Salty Barrel tonight and you guys were already familiar with this because you had been approached by a goblin by the name of rice who told you he could get you a discount at this tavern <clears throat> you guys split up um four of you went to the blies to talk to them about the fishery business and Gwyn and leo went back to grab ecreus um at the blies <laughs> There were some conversations um, held between mostly Valente um, and Gabriel, but also Sheev um, coming in a couple times. But the persuasion of talking to Gabriel about buying out Anchorage Fish was kind of unsuccessful at first. Um, Valente had a couple of really stinker roles twice in a row. <laughs> but then they decided to go a different route and Valente... Valente's form became a little bit different, a little bit darker, and 
and she invoked basically a great amount of fear into Gabriel in order to convince him to do what you guys were asking to pay 12,000 gold for the Anchorage fish company. So he agreed through intimidation, um, through out of fear for his life. And you guys walked him across town where you met back up with Gwen and Leo and you completed a transaction between Ply Fisheries and Anchorage Fish. And you guys successfully kind of facilitated the purchasing of Anchorage Fish by Gabriel Bly. And the Anchorages seemed pretty happy with the deal you guys had struck. And they gave you some of the money from the purchase. You guys decided after that to head to the Salty Barrel. And quickly upon walking in, it was filled with drunk goblins. Um, it was filled with the stink and smell of alcohol and dirt. And Rice, the goblin that you had met, it was introducing a line of tiefling, fiend, young women, young men, slaves for sale coming onto the stage at the Salty Barrel. But that was where we left off. Was there anything that I missed in there? Uh, no, I don't believe so. I don't I believe so, no. A question mm -hmm. and a thing. I am invisible, scouting out the area. I would like to get to a corner where I think... I'm going to drop your tokens if... on the map right away, okay? So you can show me. Murph on the home cool. screen. Hmm? I was going to be looking exactly. for a, um, corner where if I un-invisibilityed, I would not be seen doing so and, but i also want to be within vision of ulrich von pask as well so okay my archive section is getting way too big i gotta say for characters that have died <laughs> uh yeah no definitely not my play. fault <laughs> okay what am i missing here where's ulrich this? I'm, I'm at the bottom. That's me. I need to update my. Okay. I need to sign in to Forge. Okay, and Chief. Do I have sight of Ulrich from here? I think so I, I would. Yeah, I just want to, so, yeah. awesome. before we get into things, just a note about the map here. I'm going to put this here. There are um, curtains. If you can see where I'm drawing here. <clears throat> and that are kind of pulled back here and pulled back here and then back here as well. So Sheev, you're kind of standing in front of a curtain door, Cool. but you know from going through here before when you did some reconnaissance um, that there's a door behind these curtains here too. <clears throat> cool. That's totally fine by me. I just want to be in a place where I can see Ulrich and if I de-invisibility, I'm not going to be seen. Okay. Okay. There was some... Oh, where is... Sorry, go ahead. No, no, where's the, uh, the little shit kicker? The, uh, the leader of, uh, oh, there's a little soiree, this okay. little boutique of flesh. <laughs> okay, just one sec. I'm gonna put the, um, tieflings. Um, Rice is on the stage, so he's dressed up a little bit for this occasion. Um, when you first mm -hmm. saw him, he was in kind of tattered robes, but he's, like, got a nice coat on now, and, yeah, he looks a little dressed up for the occasion. This is Rice. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna move in very no, sort of noticeably dragging my greatsword along the floor and again Ulrich in all his glory still look pretty like tattered and battered he's still covered in, in cuts and bruises his armour it's pretty, um, it still covers the majority of his body. It's fallen away in pieces, and he looks more like a, a ragged cell sword than, um, sort of the, the knight that you all, um, knew from the very beginning. And he's gonna walk up, and he's gonna very, very, oh, like, noticeably, um, put his two handed sword, this huge blade, on the table. Knocking the glass up and saying, What's a man have to do? Get a drink in here! 
I'm going to need you to say that one more time. Hello? What does a man have to do? You got a drink in here. <laughs> okay. Um, the tiefling comes around from behind the bar. Um, and she kind of looks at you and she looks at the sword. And she says, what can I, what can I get for you? Um, anything that you like? First one's on the house. I'm going to go up to her and I'm going to put five gold coins into her hand. What I want you to do is go downstairs or go around back. Wherever you saw your finest ale. And I want you to spend a good amount of time picking out a fine vintage. I want you to take your time selecting this. And I'll put all the coins in her hand, close her hand over it. Now go! Okay, make a persuasion check with advantage. <clears throat> Uh, DM is one while he's doing this. I want to let you know that my plan is the second I go to see Ulrich uh, go to swing his sword because I know he has what his plan is. I would like to cast a spell on him this like as he's mid swing, if that's possible. You can hold an action, yeah, if you like. What did you roll, Ulrich? Cool. I rolled a fucking six. <laughs> okay. Um, she takes the gold. Um, I'm gonna have her roll an insight check here. See if she's kind of understanding what you're putting down here. Okay, she's pretty smart, fortunately. Um, mm -hmm. She takes the gold and she kind of pockets it and she nods. And she kind of looks around, appraising the situation. Um, but then she ducks behind here and she mm -hmm. goes into, disappears into a storage room. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna go up to this table here, grab a full tankard. And begin to drain it as I look over at my uh, my compatriots, uh, letting them know I'm about to. Uh, I'm getting ready. Can I ready in action? Yep. And when Ulrich gets it within range of a golem that seems hostile towards him or tries to attack him, I'm gonna bestow my tail from beyond to him. Okay. Ooh, what'd you get this time? My wife. <laughs> Woo. Okay, um, Rice kind of steps forward on the stage and he says, All right, our first lady comes from the dry desert lands of the Southern Tempest. Only 21 years of age, and we'll start the bidding at 15 gold. <clears throat> and there begins to be this, like, outcry from goblins uh like 20 gold 25 gold and this kind of this auction goes on <clears throat> would anyone like to make a bid i'm gonna i'm still draining it i'm just i want to make sure everyone's comfortable before i i do anything um and, yeah i'm also gonna cast uh deflect arms on myself in preparation okay oh. my <clears throat> yeah, I'm just waiting for Ulrich to go. Yeah, I'm waiting for Ulrich's lead. I'll relay that telepathically and say when Ulrich take, makes his leap, makes his charge in, we all strike. 75 I'm, gold! I'm going to put the tanker down and then hoist my sword going over my once. shoulder. And as he's <laughs> bringing once. out the final um, count, I'm going to walk over to him. And uh, put one foot on the stairs up there and swing the sword over and half hand at. I take her off your hands for free! And I'm going to just try and jab my great sword, um, half handing it down as like almost okay. as a pick so. into his chest and dragging him down. And as I do that, DM, I would like to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And I use my reaction. I kind of cut out, but I assumed you said you want to rage. <laughs> yeah. Based yeah, on yeah. expression and body language. Uh, so, so I'm sorry. So as he hoists, as he goes to swing his sword, uh, Sheev is going to, he breaks invisibility when he does this. He's going to kind of just 
slowly apparate back into existence, pull a bit of licorice out of his pocket, split it in two, mutter a few words, uh, which I have here. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so much cooler in my head. Uh, 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 here we go. Uh, he's going to submit Haast, my friend, and really rip apart the weave of magic and push it into Ulrich, and he gets hasted as he swings down uh, okay. and has the haste buff on him. Okay, we are all going to roll for initiative. I had a ready to action. Yeah, you can go yeah. ahead. Yeah, I'm going to raise up a hand, gas spirit up a wall, trailing out towards Ulrich before... Uh, Rears up a hand and draws a rake, oh. trying to stab him. Goblin. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to be attacking recklessly as I again grab my great sword and spear him with a great weapon master attack okay. for oh a God. whopping. What? No. 19! <laughs> 19 hits. Okay, excellent. And that's going to deal a whopping. We fuck. Uh, that's going to that's going to do seventeen damage. Ignore that six, because I can reroll one. That's going to do seventeen, seventeen damage as I stab it deep in his heart. And can I? I know it's a surprise round. Can I follow up with my second attack for my attack action? Yeah. You might not. Okay. Be for the reaction damage. Um, it's not going to be exactly a surprise round, but you're getting this attack basically out of mm -hmm. initiative. Order. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and fantastic. As I make another attack with advantage and hit a 21 <laughs> as I yank the sword out and I grab it at the end, half hand it, and I'm going to whack him around the head with a club. And this is going to do... Wow. What the fuck? What the hell, okay, Thomas? ignore it. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is going to do 21 damage. That's not too bad, actually. 17 damage and 21 damage for 36. Okay. Also, real quick, you do have no, your haste 38. action now. I do, but I don't know if I can use it now until my next turn. 36, sorry, 36 damage? 21 um, damage. That was 38 damage, sorry. 38 damage. On which the attack? The second one? On in total across the both oh, attacks. Oh, in total. Okay, got ya. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. I'm right then. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. Um, I rolled two um, for the reaction attack. That okay, one. just one, just one second. Okay. Um. Da, 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 da. Okay. Sorry. What did you want to do, Ricard? I'm just, I just rolled the damage for the attack because I rolled a twenty-three for the reactionary attack for my prepared round. So that would have been sixteen total damage. Between force and then one d four cold what, damage. You're making an attack. You held an action to cast a spell. And I held an action to use my 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 bardic inspiration, stowing of it, and that's the one I had. The renowned duelist that provoked. Okay, can you put attack. it in the chat? I will. <clears throat> the two earlier. Oh okay. All right. Um. <clears throat> It's a spell. It's the spell attack. It makes me. I, I have to make a spell attack. Okay. <clears throat> um, what did you roll for your spell attack? A twenty. Well, what? Why don't I see it in the chat? Oh, there. It's it, twenty three. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> That's just a weird one. Such a weird tale. Number to roll. All right. Sounds good. Um, we're gonna start at the top of the order. Mm -hmm. This guy. Um. And attacks against me have advantage, by the way. Oh yeah. He is going to. But you have a plus two bonus to your AC. Mm hmm. Um, Sheev, are you still invisible or no? 
You're not because you cast a taste. May. And he and you did cast a spell. Okay, this guy's coming to you then. <clears throat> that is fine. Okay, that was not going to hit. <clears throat> oh. Um, it it would, but uh, twelve actually. Yeah, it would hit because I have only have eleven AC. I'm gonna take this and see how much damage it does. Jesus. Five damage. That's that wizard damage. AC, baby. Seven damage. Awesome. Uh, I'll take the seven damage and some. I'm a ghost, so uh, it doesn't yeah. really show up on me, but I get like kind of okay. slashed through my cloak a little bit. You, like, and it slash, reforms. Slash, and, and you notice on the second attack, he's like pretty off balance. Um, and yeah. then he's gonna bonus action disengage. Um, he used. Uh, feet to here. Oh yeah. He nice. He's gonna go back here. <clears throat> I was gonna fuck his ass up. I have a dagger, motherfucker. It's gonna close the gap between Ulrich. <clears throat> and you said the attacks have advantage? Um, yes, they do. Okay, all attacks? All attacks, baby. Okay. <clears throat> but I am resistant to um, slashing, bludgeoning, piercing. Okay. Okay, well, I rolled a two and uh, a three and a two. So <laughs> he slashes. Um, kind of at your calves and just uh you're able to just move out of the way he's like short and he's gonna disengage he's hasted so he just quickly so fast so mm -hmm. nimble. he's actually gonna come up here and put himself between you and rice <clears throat> mm -hmm. um okay Gonna attack you, Leo. I rolled another two. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> What's your AC, Leo? 15. Okay. And he is gonna disengage. They're kind of all like just jumping around here. They're like running up to you guys and slashing and then running away. Um, and they, they're probably disengaging. Oh shit, I have to roll a concentration check. Oh, yes, please. It's been do. so long since so I played a wizard. Just roll up like that. Okay. Do this. I'm fine. You're still hasted, Ulrich. Mm hmm. Okay. Ulrich, AC? 17. Um, so 20 to hit. As mm -hmm. a goblin behind you, um, Sheev, you can see this, loads up a pistol and oh. takes a shot right at your back, Ulrich. Um, oh. and it's gonna hit. Um, and it is... I'm gonna yell at the goblin, do... just wait until you see the weaponry that we have. Eight piercing damage. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> is that, um, halved? No, that's not halved. Okay. <clears throat> And then he okay. is going to hide under the table <laughs> for half cover. <clears throat> okay. 17? It will work? That will hit, yes, yeah. Okay. Just hits. Mm hmm. Um. <clears throat> Slips between an arm plate. Eight points of slashing damage. Okay. Okay. And, um, good. That guy goes here. This guy. This guy is a goblin. I know the blue guy, he doesn't exactly look like a goblin, but he is a goblin. <laughs> mm -hmm. This guy steps back, gets up onto one of the stools, and he takes out this little, um, orange vial and he passes it between his hands and he gives this <laughs> and he throws it and this uh 
gold vial kind of spins through the air and it smashes and on the ground between Valente, Gwyn, and Ricard. Like right here. <clears throat> okay, you see the line. Um, you each get to take. Oh, sorry, you don't take any damage on hit. I mean, you guys to actually nothing happens. The area is on fire. <laughs> That's what happens. <clears throat> nice. Um, there's like this slight what? burning, and then this fire is like spreading. Oh, okay. Oh, so what area? Just that one spot, or? This square here, saying. this is a 20 foot range. <clears throat> it's spreading out from that square that it was on. It's about that. Okay, 22 to hit Ulrich. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's going to hit. And then an 11. That was not hit. <clears throat> okay, another 7 points of slashing damage. And this guy is actually going to bonus action hide underneath the table as well. Okay. Um, Ricard, it is your turn. Yeah, so I'm going to step over the You're goblin this time. Two fire damage at the beginning of your turn. Noted that he is going to draw his. Feel a bit sad that he'll have to sully the blade with the blood of a goblin. Dabs and. Tries. Okay. <laughs> Um, you, your pant leg is still on fire, just so you know. Oh. Uh. I would have said to put it out earlier. <laughs> no. Well. Can I? You can put it out I as wanna... an action, though. I would have done that before attacking if I knew, though. You, do, you can still, you can do it if you want to not attack and put it out. <clears throat> because I already rolled it, but, uh. Gonna, I guess I'll embrace it at this point for one turn at least. Okay. Sadly, okay, it's gonna be like crawling up your leg. So you're gonna continue at the attack. Okay, you rolled a thirteen. I already rolled. It. That is not going to hit as it kind of you kind of come down with this sword and it has this leather bracer and it um just moves your sword out of the way. <clears throat> Anything else you'd at like the end to do? Of the turn. Okay. Mm hmm. Ulrich, your turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. I sort of reeling from the um, the sort of the bullet wound in my back and the dagger that sort of pierced between my ribs. I open up a, a, a quite a shallow cut. I turn around. Now it's my turn. And I turn to the goblin to my left, and I again with reckless abandon will raise my great sword, aiming to decapitate him at the neck. Will um, make a great sword attack at him. Remembering that this time I have my Berserker feature, so we'll see this. It's not going to hit. However, I do have as part of my new kit a feature known as Graze, which um, does five damage on oh. attacks that I miss. So um, okay. when I, I miss his so head, good. it's going to just slice him and just open up a small nick on his chest. But I bring the Greatsword back around for another attack. <laughs> this time, will it land? I think it does for a seventeen. Does that hit? It hits. Yeah. Marvelous. And this one, as I steady myself, um, line the blade perfectly for a whopping oh, 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 twenty-seven nice. damage. But Ulrich is now in a blood frenzy, and he's gonna. And I'm gonna add that as well um, for nine more damage. So that's gonna be. 41 damage on this goblin to my left. Does that lay the beast low? Yeah, so he's, he's dead. How do you want to do this? Fantastic. So again, the nick opens up a small shadow blood coming down his top as I come back up and run. And I slice off his head cleanly. Blood spurting out everywhere. And I turn around and I look at the other goblin. No, I'm not done! <laughs> as I am um, going to action surge. And again, you know it, you love it. It's going to be another great sword attack. Uh, let me just pop it in chat this, with my... Yes? The first goblin's head just like goes yeah. rolling across the stage and there's just piles and piles of blood building on the stairs there. Rice looks... Um, there's like a oh, lump oh, in his throat. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're this one. one on the right? 
This one? Uh, the one to the right, yes indeed. And, uh, fresh from the kill, I turn around! Swing, yeah. <laughs> the swing, and this is going to swing. critically hit. Um, re-roll that one, baby, for a, for a 39 damage against this one. Does that lay the goblin low? Yes. Fantastic. Ooh. And I turn Ooh. my sights, and I look at the pompous, well-to-do goblin that Ulrich has been, or he's been chomping at the bit to sink his blade into. And I will non-lethal these next attacks, as I ready my grateful and bring it down like a crashing storm. Oh, that's a normal attack. Will the normal attack hit? I don't think so, but I do have advantage because I'm recklessly attacking. For a 17, will this hit? Um, he is, as you try to come down with that second hit, there is this pff, magical barrier that comes up between you and kind of like a panic is like this black-green magic between you two. <clears throat> I see. Fool of sorcery! Coward! <laughs> and I turn to the women. Get out of here! Why you still can? As the blood, blood fury is overtaking me, and I will move away over to this one, and I'll use my <laughs> hasted attack action and uh, great sword attack this one, looking for easier quarry uh, for my blood, my blade to drink from. Um, that's not going to hit. I don't think is it. Um, hang on, let me check. No, unfortunately, you're not. They are. Oh. Some of them are wearing armor. Like some of the guys have chainmail. Some of them have shields. Um, these guys have leather armor. <clears throat> okay, as I move at this goblin, swing clearly drunk on blood. Uh, I just can't can't control myself that well. As I um, will then use my second wind, and I will regain hopefully all of the hit points. Yeah, I will gain all of the hit points that I lost before as I whip my greatsword around, uh, reeling from the miss attack, blood spraying in the arc around me. Come, show me what path is for fury amongst your misbegotten kind! <laughs> and end my turn. All right. That's an awesome turn. Um, okay. Uh, there's just, like, this spray of blood. The, um, like, the the... Uh, decapitation of one goblin and turning around and decapitating the one behind him and this blood pooling at the feet of rice um, and all these slaves he kind of looks at them for a second they all look terrified as some of this goblin blood like splashes one of them across the face and then Wolverick runs off to try to attack another goblin um Leo you are up okay uh, as a bonus action I'm going to Use my warding convocation from my uh, warlock patron patrons as, as sort of uh, elements of all of my patrons appear around me, around my shoulders. Um, first, these sort of glitchy flowers, then the shadows that are still dancing, the uh, sort of ice with the uh, shells in them, and then uh, from my new patron from Zurak himself, these sort of stone spikes. <laughs> And um, I'm gonna gonna call on Surex power for my action, and I'm going to say, um, "Let's see what this new guy can do." And you can hear sort of this thumping from below the floorboards against them once, twice, as the floorboards sort of break open and this stone yeah, creature jumps out from below, from the ground below. This stone bull that's about uh, not not quite as tall as a like a, a real bull would be probably, but a bit a bit smaller. Um, just snorting and uh, straight up charges um, towards uh, this uh, goblin that's closest to uh, Ulrich. This one. Okay. Uh, by, the, by the chair. You have the stats. Um, is this the one you sent me in the chat? Uh, the, 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 I don't know. These are the stats. Like, it's is it basically all its own initiative? <clears throat> no, I don't think so. Yes. They do. Actually. 
<clears throat> oh, a gargoyle. Okay. <clears throat> Mechanically, it's a gargoyle. I don't know. Those. Okay, and I'm um, able to import this right now. You have you have the stats because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the stats on the three right now. I, I do. Okay. Um, it's a fifteen initiative. Okay. And um, yeah, that's 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 that. Um, and then I'm gonna walk sort of away. Yeah, I'm gonna stay there. Well, that's it. Okay, my foundry is uh, frozen. Um, but I know that Rice is next in the order. Um, he takes a step back and he um, is like playing with something in his pocket. And um, okay, there we go. Thank you. Now we're back up. And he whispers something in Goblin, and he disappears from view. Real quick, can I see this from where I'm standing, or is the curtain blocking There's my view? There's a curtain in the way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cool. No worries. <clears throat> um, okay. That brings us to Valente. Take two points of fire damage. You are on fire. Cool, perfect. You're just so <clears throat> hot, you're out of fire. Let's go. Stop. I'm going to activate my form of dread on this oh, at the start of my turn. What? And <gasps> yes. uh, just yes, be cloaked in this entire uh, shadow, outer shell, so to speak. And uh, while this misty shadow manifests over me, I will slowly walk out of the fiery zone I'm in. Um, as you walk out, the fire follows on your form. It's a bonus action to activate your form of dread, right? Yes. Okay. It would be an action to put out the fire if you want to put it out. Um, but you can definitely walk out of it, but still the trails of your coat are on fire. Up to you. You can leave it too if you don't want to use your action. I'm going to leave it for the flare. Okay. <laughs> and I'll walk. Hard decision. Um, well, this one. I'll walk up to the same one Ulrich has been uh, insulting. Uh -huh. I'm going to use uh, Rhyme's Binding Ice. No, that's going to hit Auric. Magic Missiles. Do it. And... Hit me! <laughs> you can also shape spell if you want. Oh, true. Very true. Alright, sure. I'll shape spell and uh, save Auric from it. But I will use my ice to just freeze him. Oh. This guy? No. <laughs> you want Him. Out? Yes, this one. <laughs> um, probably can hit this guy too, but you're probably at the risk of hitting some. You're sculpting spells because you're at the risk of yes. hitting some of these slaves. <clears throat> um, huh. I, I can't move it right now, but. Maybe I can move it. I can. I, can... I think it's target's equal to your imp mod or something, right? Keep safe, so I think you Yeah, forever. how many can you protect? Three in total. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, so you would, um, like, if you were to get to do it. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so I just don't cooperate. We could do, like, you could go this way, but you still would have two people that would not be. I mean, you could save all three at the back if you want to do this. Yes, that's okay. what I'm going to do. I'll okay. just Town? hit two birds with one stone. Two goblins, one stone. So to make con saves? Yes. 
Okay, go ahead and roll your damage. <clears throat> 18 damage. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, one of them fails, one of them succeeds. Okay, so he takes half of that. Nine. Okay. This guy. Right. <clears throat> Down. All right. Very good. Anything else you would like to do on your turn? Uh, <clears throat> not right now, no, thanks. I'll end my turn. Oh, we didn't roll for initiative for Gwen. I just rolled. <clears throat> okay, we got to have Gwen go. What do we want Gwen to do? Uh, I... Scattergun. I, she is on fire. Yeah, we're, we're so scattergun. Oh, she's on fire? <laughs> she's going to take two points of fire damage. <laughs> Let me see her HP real quick. Oh, she can take that. Yeah. I think she's going to use this turn to scatter gun. Um let's See where are the where's like where can she can she hit if she walks over like that? Can she hit both of these guys with scatter gun? I don't know how it, exactly how it works. Well, take a look at the sheet. <clears throat> I'm going to look now. Yeah, sorry, I'm looking now. Um it's a cone, 15 to 30 feet, so yeah. she will probably hit both of them. Oh, yeah, will. Fuck yeah. Uh if that's okay with everybody else, I think she's just going to scatter gun these two guys and blast the fuck out of them. Um, yes. Yeah. Is the plan, anyway. Uh, so, kind of hoist this big ass shotgun off her back, captain's cap on her head, ginger hair flowing as the fucking place burns down and shit's going crazy. Ulrich committing mass murder. She pulls out her scatter gun and goes to shoot it. Why does it say one feet? That's the weird thing here. I have to... Okay, attack. Here we go. Uh, okay. Normal. Oh, it's a tiny cone. Fuck. So did <laughs> 10. Oh, damn. That's kind of a bad roll. Um, yeah, that does not hit. So <clears throat> the shotgun goes off, and it's just way more powerful than she anticipated. It's a quadruple yeah. barrel shotgun, and she just like gets thrown back by the recoil and it just grazes above them <clears throat> cool um in uh to make up for this i think she's going to go ahead uh no you know what i'm gonna have her do that and then uh how much she moved like this is 5 10 15 feet yeah uh i'm gonna have her she has 40 feet movement speed she's 40 yeah oh 40 feet she's okay i'm gonna move her kind of over out of the middle of the room. Okay. Um. She's ranged. I want to position her actually over, like. The, well, the fire's there. I don't want to put her back in the fire. Um. The fire is only burning on the people who got hit by it now. So it's not. Oh, okay, it's cool. Like kind so of gone not... out on the floor. Oh, okay. But um. Okay, cool. Ricard, it's still burning. Green, yeah. it's still burning. Valente, it's still burning. So I'm gonna move her back over this way, like this. Okay. And end her turn. Alrighty. Okay, this guy's turn. He's face to face with Ricard right now. Um. Good surrender if you don't want to die. <laughs> he says, never! And bonus action, he's going to disengage, and he, like, runs across the table like a gr like a gremlin, and then turns around, and he's going to take a shot at you with his pistol. What's your AC? 16. Okay. Make a um, dexterity saving throw. Got a 12. Uh, 
Okay, as this bullet um, hits you and it hits you right in the shoulder and there's like this explosion as it hits your shoulder, it, this explosion of sand that like cuts at your face and all over your neck, you're gonna take 11 points of piercing damage from the bullet and then six points of slashing damage from the sand. It looks like the bullets had been um, like modified with sand. <clears throat> what the hell? <clears throat> Oh, I don't even cough. Wait, take that cough back. Can't have that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you get ready bonus actions. You can't do anything else. This guy's turn. He's right in front of Ulrich and Valente. Um, he is going to attack Valente, I guess. Or the pocket man, but no pocket bullet. <laughs> What's your AC, Valente? My AC, uh, 14. Okay, that is going to get hit as you're, like, right up face-to-face -face with him. He, like, shakily attacks you. He does look terrified of the form that you have on, this, like, shadowy, like, three times his height, and he just, like, closes his eyes and slashes. Um, and it does hit. You're going to take eight points of slashing damage. And he's going to put right. his action disengage, and he runs onto the stage behind one of the slaves. <clears throat> oh, you motherfucker. He, like, crawls over. Okay, Sheev, you are up. Real quick, sorry, is this dude over by the benches the, with the beard? Is that a bad, is that a yeah, bad guy? He's a bad guy. He's the one that threw the fire. Okay. He's through you the fire. You can also see How... the like tail end of this guy underneath the table. He does have half cover. <clears throat> oh shit! Right. Okay. Um. How far apart are these guys? Twenty feet. Okay. Um. If I what is this? What is what does this good old spell do? Let me just double check. Thirty feet cone. Like I want. It. Although it's only fifteen feet apart. 30 feet cone, but it ends up being... I'm going to try and hit both of these guys with Rhyme's Binding Ice. I'm going to kind of see what Valanthe does. I'm going to kind of give her a little nod and go, eh, you can do that, I can do that as well. Uh, and I'm going <laughs> to cast Rhyme's Binding Ice on them. Uh, okay. Yeah. You got enough room to get them in there? <clears throat> I think so. I can't... Can I turn this? Yeah, uh, control. Hold thing. control. Control. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, well, <laughs> fuck. Hang on. <laughs> Been there. <clears throat> yes, I can hit these guys. Okay. Um, The 30-foot cone goes all the way, yeah, way past them. I hit both of them with it. Um, That's, yeah, that hits. Um, Alrighty. So, yeah. okay. they're going to take... Uh, do you, I need a DC 16 and con save from them, please? Yeah, I'm not even going to roll for one of them. This definitely kills him. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the other one fails. So go ahead and roll for damage. Cool. Uh, it's going to be 13 cold damage. Okay. So the one on the on this side, um, he like just turns around last minute as he'd just been hit by Valente's rhymes blinding eyes on the one side and he's like got this frost in his face and he turns over his shoulder and there's this other <laughs> blast and he just is frozen to death in place. This Bad guy, luck, friend. <laughs> this guy right. um, is going to take that full damage because half cover. Would half cover help him in that situation? Because it, uh, it, it adds to your AC, right? What what happens with spells though? Like, I always forget what half cover does to spells. Oh, a dexterity saving throw. So not nothing to do with this is a con save, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't really do anything in this situation. So he'll still take that full. Cool. <clears throat> uh, and then I'm going to if uh, I don't know how to get rid of the template. Sorry, I'm I'm kind of I can dumb. get rid of it. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna float over towards this guy. Uh, and just kind of like, because I'm hovering, I can hover over this guy, and I'm just going to look down at him. <laughs> it's not too late to surrender, my friend. <laughs> and he says, is it not too late? Because I give up. I don't want to, I don't want to die. 
All right, as long as you make no moves against my friends, I might let you live. Okay. Put your weapons down. <clears throat> um, he does not put his weapons down, but he does seem like, Okay. I don't well, know, kind of hard to I gave close. him the fucking chance, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the end of my turn. Uh, I'm trying to stay within melee range of this guy. I'm trying to make him do a disengage if he wants to. Okay. Get away from me. Yeah. And it's his turn. So he is going to bonus action disengage. You fucker. <laughs> He's going to run over here. Actually, no. He probably wouldn't run that way. Rick is that way. All the blood is that way. He run this way. <laughs> and he's going to attack you. With a pistol. He even offered him. Oh, you motherfucker. Just make a dexterity saving throw. Me? Okay. Mm -hmm. My AC is only 11, so I'm sure this hits me. Um, you said deck saving throw? All yes, right. sir. Only a seven. Okay, I rolled pretty shit on, the re on that damage. But, okay, so you take four points of piercing damage as this bullet hits you. And same thing with Ricard. As it hits you, kind of, like, grazes your neck. There's this explosion again of sand like right in your face and gets in your eyes Ugh. and you're gonna take eight points Ugh. of slashing yeah. damage <laughs> sand in my eyes <laughs> uh sorry so it's at 12 total yes you should, this isn't this isn't poison damage is it no okay it is not poison <laughs> <I had> damage. <laughs> uh 12 total okay cool okay it's this guy's turn Here. I don't know what I want him to do. Um, I guess we will attack the big knight. And he killed everybody. <clears throat> That's definitely going to miss. <clears throat> This. this goblin just comes like running across just with his sword in hand and yeah! at Ulrich and like yeah! Sla tries to slash and Ulrich just easily steps <laughs> out of the way. Um, that's it for him. Uh, okay, that guy's dead. This guy. All It's like on the stools right now. <clears throat> Comes this way and he throws another vial, this time with a green liquid at Valente and Ulrich. <clears throat> A vial behind you, Valente, just like hits the ground and smashes this green liquid that's like steaming slightly, um, comes out of it. <clears throat> uh, he, does he have an ability too? Yeah, he does. Okay, he's gonna bonus action hide behind <laughs> underneath this stool as best as he can. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, Ricard, you are up. Um, uh, in fr uh, sorry, in front of Ricard, the uh, bull goes. Oh, okay. On 15. Yeah, okay. Mm. What do you want your bull to do? <coughs> um, the two goblins in front of the stage These are guys dead. Are both dead, yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess then it's going to charge you to the left, to okay. this one above Ricard, and make two attacks. That's uh, 19 and 18. Uh, yeah, they both hit. So that's uh, a 5 on the first attack and then 7 on the uh, second, so 12 okay. overall damage. This bolt. Is... This, this, mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. Just charges and tramples on this goblin. <laughs> it's like tiny and just like, ah! as it just. <laughs> 
and the whole place is like shaking and this place as you guys can see from the map too it's quite narrow and tall um the staircase to the right obviously leads up to like where the other rooms are um but the whole place seems um shoddily built to begin with so it definitely is taking a beating from just the weight of things and the bull is heavy <laughs> okay can the bull do anything else nope okay ricard you are up yeah okay, two points of fire damage i'm gonna put out the fire okay <clears throat> that is your action um one bard against furry yeah so he'll hold his cards close the uh, i'll use tales from beyond i'll roll my last inspiration to grab one of these hold it for my next i'm gonna butte as an action Okay. the end of my turn. <clears throat> oh, you don't roll yet? I'm gonna roll now. Okay. That's all I can. Let's see what you get. Six. You're targeting yourself? Mm, I can't use it right now. This is only me rolling to get it in okay. action. That's a good one. <clears throat> all right. Ulrich. Okay, I see the uh, the goblin, the gobbo scum, trying to flank me. So again, in a sort of a great sort of uh, sort of figure of eight arc on my head, I'm swinging the sword, defending dear Valente with my life. As I um, feign a low blow with my sword before bringing it up and round and hacking down at the one to my left. <clears throat> the one directly to my left. And I will make another goddamn reckless uh, great weapon master attack for a 12. I don't think a 12 is going to hit. Is a 12 going to hit? Is a 12 going to hit? Okay. Is anyone hear Sparky there? No, Sparky could not hear you there, I'm afraid. But I, but he has you're a shield. wonderful. He has a there has we a go. Yeah, it doesn't hit. <clears throat> and it blocks it. I uh, luckily I, I managed to just nick the uh, nick the top of him over, and the greys um, he will take five um, five damage. Even so, as my sword breaks through the shield and just sort of take a chunk of his shoulder, I do realize I get greys every, on every attack, which is um, which is quite nice. Um, and I will uh, not. Not uh, satisfied with that small dribble of blood that I've spilled, I will wrench my sword free and try and, with two hand, it try and pierce over, aiming for his face. As uh, I roll a okay. or oh, seventeen, <laughs> yeah, that's he, gonna do it. As a reaction, actually, um, at first you think like maybe you're going crazy. As you look down, you like swear he's there, and then there is a second where these. It looks like the exact same goblin, mm -hmm. but he looks, he doesn't have the, the, uh, mark on his head that you just left, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but go ahead and roll for damage. Um, and he's going to take not five damage. You can all that. He's going to take, oh, 26 Ooh. damage. God damn. Five strength. Oh, great, five strength great swords. That feels so good. So as I um uh, so I, I bring it faint it low at his feet, then bring it up around and smack batter his shield, sort of pinning his shield arm to his, his body as I wrench the sword out again half hand, I use my height and I stab down and it's gonna go right through his cheek there, pierce right through his lower jaw, into his body, and then I'm just going to rip it out, fl flinging him to the side as I turn to see the goblin in front of me, and I'm gonna haste attack as, that as motherfucker. As you look at him, you see the mark that you left on the head of the original I... one. Oh, I see. <laughs> they swap places. These goddamn slags. <laughs> right. No, 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 no! <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> and uh, Ulrich, Valentha, you see this. Ulrich is just blood drunk at this point in time. He's splattered with a, a mixture of gore and viscera all over his face as he attacks again with advantage with this goblin here. For 19! That'll, That'll do it. But this is going to be 
24 damage. Great Weapon Master, what a feat. Uh, 24 damage, as this one, again, instead of fainting low, he's just going to charge, and he's going to whack him with the pommel of his weapon, not ripping his head up, blood and teeth flying. And then, um, he will, um, I don't know, Dead. Oh, I am uh, death, and I'm gonna move over <laughs> this way. I am death. And, yes, uh, you are. <laughs> and then move over here. Okay. And um. Run to me! I will not let their blows land. And and my turn. <clears throat> yeah, like I mean, both of these goblins are dead. The first one just like pierced straight through. The second one that had tried to like defer his death. Um, just basically teleported, swap places with the other goblin to have his head knocked in. And he falls to the ground in amongst this broken glass bottles here. <clears throat> okay, uh, Leo, you are up. So you can so kind of see it's... this guy behind you. He's got half cover. <clears throat> this guy. Yeah, yeah um, there's also just the two goblins by the stage left now, and the one on the left that's occupied with my bull at the moment. You got it. And the what are what are these? Uh, Those are the slaves. Ostriches, slaves, yeah. tieflings doing. They look terrified, especially after Ulrich's um, spectacle. It seems like they're really not sure whether you guys are here to help them or. Um, are they are they like chained up? Kill them. Yes, they have chains on their wrists and ankles. Okay, so as a as a first thing, I would sort of s step on the bar and shout towards them and say, "You get out!" And um, sort of direct them towards either the door or the stage or whatever. Just gonna shout at them so that they wake up. Um, okay. And um, just so that they're aware. Huh. And then I'm gonna uh, actually use an Eldritch Blast, turning towards the guy next to me. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna quiet. fire two Eldritch Blasts at, the, at him. For... Well, one is a 26 and the other one is a 17. For, sorry, the blue guy? Yeah. Um, they both hit. Awesome. Then I'm gonna do some damage. So that's seven and that's eight, so 15 total. And uh, because I have these blessings from Sorek and I got a, another <laughs> additional occasion, I have a uh, Lance of Lethargy, which means his speed is reduced by 10 feet. Okay. So effectively, um, as these sort of uh, beams of these intertwirling lights hit him, uh, these sort of, like one of his legs partly petrifies and sort of stops him from, moves, from moving. Okay, he's like half sort of hidden underneath this stool and like these Eldritch Blasts just like <laughs> hit him quite hard. Um, and yes, his like back leg is completely locked up. And he says, oh, what the hell? And then uh, just as a side note, I guess I'm gonna look towards, like glance towards the bull and say, you just keep doing what you do. And then that's, that's my turn. Okay. All right. Okay. What do we want uh, Gwyn to do? Oh, I had a question for you. Sorry. The guy over by the the counter where Leo is, uh, has he been hurt at all so far? Yeah, Leo just hit him. Wonderful. Uh, Gwyn's going to walk over to him and get up close range. <laughs> Valanthe? I was going to... No, I kind that's of want fine. Him. You're gonna... <laughs> you want him? Totally fine. That's cool. Uh, Gwyn will start to walk that way. Vlanthi will just, just go like, he's mine, and Gwyn will go the other way. Uh, Gwyn is going to actually walk <laughs> over to this guy over here. Um, has this guy been hit at all? He has, yeah. Wonderful. Um, I'm going to use scatter shot, but I'm going to... I don't know if it's going to kill him or not, so I'm not going to say. I'm going to shoot him with the scatter gun, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, first. Oh, I, I have a fun thing I want Gwyn to do that I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work or not, so... Holy fuck. Unfortunately, uh, it's not going to hit. She's not having a hit. hard time adjusting to the scatter gun. She's used to a pistol, we're... you know? Does it, um, does it misfire as well? 
Uh, it does. Yeah, <laughs> but we're, it's not going to misfire now, though. It's only on ones, I think. On threes. Um, yeah, it on, on threes. threes. That is yeah. three, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it yeah. is a three, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> so it That's a misfire, misfire as well. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, this is okay. like a handmade type of thing, you know? It's still, uh, she's still working out the Fair kink. Enough. She's kind of like, yeah, shit, uh, and like, it's just So she's kind of like, like, yeah, she mm -hmm. like smack it against her knee. And she's gonna go, fuck. And I'm going to have her action surge okay. and pull her pistol out and try and shoot him. Um, uh, to pull out her pistol? So she's dropping the stab yeah. again? Oh, does she have to drop it? Well, it's in order not... to pull out her weapon. Oh, okay. The scatter gun is um, two handed. Oh shit, that's right. Okay. So she can drop uh, it and pull out her pistol. Or uh... I'm gonna have her like just put it on the chair, like right over the chair, like right next to her. <laughs> okay. And just like just just drop it on the chair to pick it back up later, pull the pistol out and try and hit him with it. Sure. Uh shooting it. Yeah, because it needs to be repaired now that it's misfired. My god. <clears throat> okay, just sixteen hit, please. Uh, it does, yeah. <clears throat> okay. I can't believe I'm rolling so bad with her. Jesus. Uh, 11 piercing damage. Okay. Um, that does do some serious damage to this guy. It, like, takes cool. his, one of his arms, like, almost clean off as she, like, just throws the scatter gun down and poof, shoots him. And his arm just poof, rips to one side. He looks severely damaged, but he's not quite dead. <clears throat> Uh, then I'm just gonna have her stay in melee range just in case he does he tries to do something stupid uh, and doesn't do it doesn't disengage and then I'm gonna end Gwyn's turn. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Valente, you are up. Yes, yes I am. Okay, I want to do something really silly just for flavor purposes. Okay. Uh, I'm still probably on fire. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, take to the two. And of fire oh, Gwyn needs to take those too because she's also still on fire. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm going to continue slowly walking towards my uh, new target and make my way towards the blue guy who's partially hidden and also partially locked in place because of his leg, I believe. Yes. He's so like Shivering underneath this stool. He like looks up at you as you come over. <laughs> I want to grab at whatever I can to lift him up. How about his beard? <laughs> sure, that's perfect. Okay. And um, bring my crystal ball, my arcane focus, right to his throat and cast fireball with it. Okay. Oh. All right. <clears throat> uh, that's a big range. Yeah, it's a 20 foot radius sphere. Well, I gold spells will uh, keep Ulrich and Leo safe. So okay, do you have the template? Does it put it down? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so use gold spells to uh, make sure they don't get hit. He fails. Go ahead and roll for damage. <clears throat> Just do it and roll for it, even though this is definitely gonna kill him. <laughs> <gasps> Thirty damage. All those dice. Oh I didn't God. expect that. That was <laughs> so many. That's a crazy good roll. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so this spear, like, you, like, grab him by the beard, and it's just actually probably more of a slow movement, you know, powerful. Yes. Sort of dread. Um, and it just fear and these, like, watery red eyes, and you put the spear right up, and there's this swirling of fire that starts from within and comes to the outside and surrounds you first in this fiery shadowy form and before it comes out and the entire uh area around you just lights up with fire um leo and ulrich you both kind of have to like turn away but you feel protected by valente this guy just explodes into flames and there's like all of these like little vials he had on of him that just like explode and he is like mush as you come away from this like completely ash <clears throat> blackened body he is dead and my body will stay very still but i will drop him like a pin and watch him fall to the ground with um 
Leo can definitely see it, and Auric can probably perceive it. A, mm -hmm. a, uh, a discreet grin, like a, a mm -hmm. snicker almost, as I watch him fall to the ground. <laughs> Join the police. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Brings us to this guy. He is just gonna, he sees the scene in front of him. He's gonna bonus action, disengage, and fucking run. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, he's gonna, how far can he go? Dash. He's gonna go, he runs across the stage through the curtain towards where she, you know, is the back door. Yeah. As I see that, I'll yell to everybody else. He ran out the back door if anybody wants to chase. Run through that way, you get to the back door. And this guy on the stage is going to do the same thing. Um, he runs for the back door. Sheev, it is your turn. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this guy over here that tried that I, I offered mercy to, and he declined it and shot me. <laughs> I, listen, I gave you a chance, and I'm gonna kind of like okay, this spread... time I won't shoot you. I swear. I'm gonna spread my like cloak and in my full ghostly form, I'm gonna like float over to him like an evil apparition and I'm gonna touch my own forehead. Uh, and then I'm going to, as a second level spell, I'm going to cast this. Uh, I'm going to cast Inflict Wounds and I'm basically just going to cut, put from my head onto his head and just bursts of black tendrils are going to come out of my fingertips and try and kill him with this. So I need to roll an attack yes, first. <clears throat> uh, oh, mission, mission. Fucking, what the fuck is wrong with me? Do you have any divinations? Nope, I used them on you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you, like, touch to your head and, and you try to touch to him, but you feel like this magical st stint for a second and you're, like, not able to concentrate it into him. And he says, what? What? Cat, get your tongue now? Huh? You. <laughs> uh... And, you know, man. <sighs> uh, I'm just going to kind of sigh. And, uh, uh, but you've come up to him, right? Into here? You have to be within five Yeah, I've come up to him. Yeah, sorry, it's melee. So, yeah, I'm up right next to him. <sighs> well, can't all be winners, right? Uh, and he then says, I'm going to. Who the fuck are you guys? <clears throat> Your worst fucking nightmare, bitch. You see her over there? She's coming for your ass, dude. She's gonna fucking kill you. I all right? see all of you. You guys are crazy. I don't know about crazy, you fucking slaving scum. And then I'm gonna end my turn on that. Okay. All right. I think everybody here is pretty much dead. I am, like, useless today. I can't roll dice, bro. I just need save and suck spells, so I don't have to roll. That's what I need to the do. leader's gone, right? Gone, gone. I said we were catching up with him. All that. Hmm. Oh, it is his turn. Okay, sorry. Um, all right, this guy's turn. He bonus action, disengage, run, and behind the curtain. You are a fucking coward. Running, he says, "Yes, I am." <laughs> he runs yeah, for fuck yeah, stuff. you are. <laughs> um, and there is <laughs> nobody left that is hostile in here. The slaves, um weren't able really to move that much with the chains around their ankles and the chains around their wrists. Like, they are moving kind of towards the back door, but there's all these goblins going that way too, so they don't really know what to do. Um, but I am going to drop initiative order for now. Is there any way that, because I'm hasted and my movement speed is quite fast, is there any way I could use my haste action to dash and then just make one more sort of turn of damage or attacks against the running goblins to just run most them down? We don't have to do anything beyond that. Would that be okay? Um, what's your movement speed at right now? 80 feet. <clears throat> I can give him uh... another 10. Yeah. Um, you could probably catch them. No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. My my speed is 100, 100, apologies, um, 160 feet. 
Okay. Hundred and hundred and sixty feet because it's forty base doubled because of haste. Then could I catch them with eighty feet, or would I need that extra eighty feet for my haste dash 80 action? Eighty feet would basically get you to one of them. If you have more speed mm-hmm. than that, then you, you know, can catch I, two of them. I did. Okay. I rolled that. I rolled that number earlier. The uh, temporary HP and then the movement speed bonus, the good one. Mm-hmm. That's all you, buddy. You take that extra ten feet and that temporary hit points. Okay, so just 14 hit one. 14 hit one. It does not, unfortunately. Okay, that's fine. Does... Oh, no, 13 doesn't hit. And then I'll use my hated action just to try and... Uh... So they take 10 damage from the greys, and then they're going to take, in total, 32 damage. Is that enough to kill one? It's enough to kill two. Yeah. Yeah. So she you Ulrich. Say that you, yeah, go ahead. So Ulrich, clearly his bloodlust has not been sated, turns to the rest of you guys. I'll be back in a second. Let none survive, otherwise we'll have to clear them out from the temple. And he rushes out. You've never seen a man this big and in heavy armor move this fast. And you hit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, from outside as Ulrich comes back his face a mask of blood as he's dragging one sort of still twitching goblin by the uh, by the head and his great sword in his hand and he just throws the um the body onto the stage and he turns to everyone Ulrich. looks like the auction sorry it's over um as you burst out the back door um you like, you catch one of them, like, right in the doorway, and you just basically, like, slice him through and bring him back. And then you have to run to catch another one ahead of you, mm-hmm. and you just, like, uh, cut him down. But you look, and you don't see any signs of of rice. <clears throat> but you come back in and say, the auction okay. is over. The auction is closed. Okay. <laughs> I'll walk up to the stage and uh, attend to some of the slaves. You're all free if you all want a way out of here. I do think we could come some sort of arrangement where you can yeah, work for right. fair wages. I'm looking at the others. As he goes to do that, before you get to the fair wages part, I would like to uh, interject a little bit. Um, hello, yes, my friend is correct. You are all free. We have no wish to keep you uh, as slaves. It has been a... It is a horrific institution brought about by people who are incredibly evil. And as you've seen, we are pretty good at dispatching evil people. However, uh, you are welcome to come aboard our ship and work for us for for pay and for wage, if you would so like. Um, You are also... uh, We're trying to do something that hasn't been done in quite a while. Um, We are the Stormbringers. And it also would be helpful for us if you were to spread the word of who we are and what we do. They uh, um, are looking at you and they're looking at each other with their just blank expression. Oh. <clears throat> do you yeah, understand baby. common? One of them whispers something to the other person and it's clearly in a language that is not common. Does anybody Fuck. here speak infernal? <laughs> um. No. I can um, barely speak common. Like yeah, I'm going to cast a spell. I'm going to place... Well, I'm going to reach into my purse and pull out a little clay model of a ziggurat. And I'll begin casting a spell. Casting tongues on myself. Good, I was going to do that, but you got it. I'll let you take it. <laughs> this time. No, I'm cool with that. I, I, I want to take my spell slot. terrified. Spell. I will say, like, just base insight. I mean, they're looking at Ulrich and just he's covered head to toe in blood they've just seen him behead several uh goblins behind him is like this form of dread of valente behind who has just incinerated a guy um uh, there's they, a ghost <laughs> yeah i'm gonna immediately just they uh... seem very confused very scared <clears throat> please calm down we don't mean you any harm for this moment onward we're all free and uh I'll begin transcribing what's happened thus far, but before I do that, I'll kind of snap my fingers, kind of throw a card at Ulrich, and have his person be cleaned of blood with Prestidignitation, because uh, we don't need to scare them any further. I'll kind of clean everyone off and introduce uh, also, our... Also, 
important information is the place on fire <laughs> it's not no so the alchemist fire only um was on the people who were hit by it which was gwen valente and ricard <clears throat> this the fireball yeah what about valente's fireball though well, <laughs> that's fireball... usually yes it specifically lights yes. up <laughs> <to> flammable <laughs> objects oh. <laughs> yes yes very <laughs> the much the whole so. bar this whole area then here is on fire Okay, mm -hmm. I guess we're gonna lead them out. Are they yeah, all let's leave them out first? Let's do this outside. <laughs> Are they chained out together? Chained up together? Uh, no, they're chained separately. I'll I'll tell them to follow us. We'll we'll help get them all free of their chains and help them out to adjust. But I'll I'll try to lead them out the back door. Okay. Yeah, I saw the back door. I'll I'll go ahead and uh, show the way. I'd like to put myself, well, put the fire off of my clothes, because I still haven't got to that. Oh, Gwen puts the fire out on herself, too. Okay. Sorry. Just a quick pat down. Um, as you guys, are we all going out the back door? Yeah. Yeah, can do. The place is burning behind you. As you guys are going out, make perception checks. Um, uh, before this, could I actually work. wrap... <sighs> I think I'd like to check upstairs if there aren't any other people. But, like, hidden. <laughs> not as a... Not ostentiously. Just in case. Um, you can make an investigation check. Yes. Can I follow her? Mm-hmm. I, I got a, a 19 on oh. perception. Or... Oh. Okay, okay well. Investigation. Ulrich, you do hear a distant cry for help as you are going out of a woman's voice. Is it inside or is it outside? Inside, and you recognize it as the bartender, the tiefling. <clears throat> I will let everyone know as I make my way back inside. The bartender! She's in here somewhere! I mean, did yeah, we see her go, shit. like, down into a cellar or something? You saw her go into a supply room behind the bar. So, um, the oh, bar is currently oh. on fire, so it seems like maybe she doesn't have a way to get out. <clears throat> right. Oh, yeah, shit. Um... That's nuts. Valente, you're about to add a fucking teardrop to your, uh, <laughs> tattoo a teardrop to your face. Okay, okay, I, okay I didn't can I... know. Can I go for okay, her? Okay, wait. Okay, okay yeah, ahead. like, what are we doing? Okay, Valente, you want to go upstairs, you rolled a natural one, um, you, it's dead silent up here. <clears throat> if there are people in their rooms, they're not making it known that they're there. They're like, it's a small, um, inn, so as you go up the stairs, there's only four rooms, but then there's another set of stairs, there's another four rooms, another set of stairs, another four rooms, there's like five stories of rooms. <clears throat> Could I yell, <coughs> sorry. Could I yell, fire, fire, there's a fire! Yep. Just as a measure of caution. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you kind of yell and warn people for sure. You do um, hear like a couple doors open after you say this and people seem to put their heads out. Um, Leo, you want to go for the tiefling? I mean, if, if Ulrich informed us or if somebody recognized and told us, or if I recognized, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Ulrich, you um, heard um, the cry for help. Um, it was a mm -hmm. DC of 20, so Leo, you didn't quite hear it. Um, would I, would I be able to run and investigate it? Because I know where yeah. she went. Yeah. Okay, I'll go down to over to where she is. Okay, Do I see like a door? On save as you go through the fire. Oh, I'm a... Ulrich von Pask fears no flame. Make a dexterity saving throw as well. <laughs> Ulrich von Pask fears no floorboards. Yeah. <laughs> um so the whole like bar is on fire like how are you trying to get around this i'm just i no 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 um concern for my ruined. personal safety despite despite all its transgression or, or, or digression from noble gallant knight to blood hungry um beast more beast than man in just small some part of him despite his cold visage and his thirst for violence he still has that inner um sort of chivalry chivalric nature and he's just going to hop the bar and just uh, willingly uh 
I take the, the heat of the flames and, uh, and hunt. Points of hunt. fire damage as you kind of feel the singe on your palm. But you do like quickly, just like an expert, wet a cloth and put it over your mouth as you come through here. And you don't feel any smoke damage. And you hop over the bar like Dukes of Hazard style, one hand on it. You do burn your palm a bit, but you can get through to where that door is for the storage room. Okay. Dude, don't don't even make me break down that door. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Do I need to break it down? I mean, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try. <laughs> you can try the handle gonna... first if you like. I'll try the handle first. I'll have <laughs> okay. some. Uh... It is open. <clears throat> okay, okay. I'll put my in the back of my hand as I was taught in Ignatian Fire Safety 101. Back of my hand to the doorknob. <laughs> oh, it's hot. And I'll open it. I'm guessing uh, I'll open it. Yeah. The f- yeah. yeah, there's some, definitely I'll, some I'll... smoke. The fire has like kind of spread underneath into the storeroom. And she is in there and she's. <coughs> what the, what happened oh jeez are we gonna get out of here of course one of the goblins was playing with an open fire and I'll go in and uh, try and rescue her if you wouldn't mind my lady and I'll grab her okay can you be more specific <laughs> oh I just like fire go in barrel in and uh, pick her up with the fireman's hold. Okay. Um, She's and like, then just rush her. And then you like, pick her up and throw her over your shoulder. <laughs> um, you go out. I'm going to have her make a constitution saving throw. I'll have you make another one and another dexterity mm-hmm. saving throw as you go out. Okay. Now, I might need to use... Oh, no, I don't. I'm just... I'm ac- action man Ulrich. <laughs> So 23 and 21 by Action Man Ulrich, yeah. Um, the smoke definitely getting to her a little bit, but you've been here, been through it once already. You are able to kind of deftly maneuver through it, um, even with her over your back. Yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, oh yeah, she she's safe. Is she above? Is she on the ground floor of the bar? Of smoke. Okay, as I, I'll, I'll regroup with everyone else and I'll move her, maneuver around, put her down gently. And I'll look at Valente and say, Those damn goblins! Playing with flames! <laughs> as I look at uh, Valente. Um, and then, yeah, uh, so escort you guys her out. The have regrouped like, at the back of the building. Um, and the slaves are there. Uh, Ricard's helped take the slaves out. Valente has warned anybody upstairs. And it does seem like some people responded to the yelling and have come out of the salty barrel. Um, you guys can see smoke start to um, plume into the sky. <clears throat> but you guys are kind of in this back alley, like behind the salty barrel. There are two um, steel buildings on either side of you, um, maybe fishing shacks or some storage or some kind. It leads to like kind of a, it's like a back lane and then some residential houses uh, behind the back lane. Mm-hmm. Well, what not now? Uh, Ricard, uh, can you ask them if there are more of the of them in the temple? Ricard, he's passed out from smoke inhalation. <laughs> yeah, it, it, is, it, <laughs> it was quite dangerous in there. Uh, sorry, so we are going to do. We're trying to ask who. Oh, the, yes, him, because he can talk to them, right? Uh, Damien. We need him. Okay. He's probably getting food right now. He said he was doing some Thanksgiving I mean, we can just assume that he would translate. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys... You want to say that they're asking if there's more in the temple? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So one of them... um, What the situation is in the temple, basically. So one of them um, is kind of this darker-toned tiefling, and she has uh, curly red hair and these brown-black horns, and she seems to be kind of speaking for the group, and she says... Mm, there may be more in the temple. I don't know. We have not been there. Is there anyone on this island who cares for the temple? Or who would care for it? Let me see. I don't know. We are not from here. We are from... Not here. Hmm. Can anybody undo the chains? Oh. Um, Oi. Yes. How do we want to go about doing that? 
Um, oh, no, I don't have them anymore. I don't have my thieves tools because I fucking died. Uh, so I can't. Um, I used to be able to. I can't anymore. Um, um, why would I? But like, what do they look? Do they look like thick? Like, are they thick chains? Like, what do um, they look like? They're definitely metal. Mm, All they're, right. I'm not like I don't know. They're, they don't look like Seraki and steel. Kind of hard to say. They're tieflings, right? Yeah. Uh, can I have um? Rock hard. Ask women the one men. One man. Ask the tieflings uh, how they feel about us Try well, we can try other options first, but, like, I can, I can <laughs> burn the cuffs off. Okay, Damien, uh, Ricard is uh, speaking to the slaves. He's the only one that can speak to them right now. So you guys yeah. are kind of gathered outside in this back lane, um, and they're trying to figure out how to take the chains off, is what it sounds like, right? Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, I guess... Yeah, I'll start going over their situation a little more and ask them, um, do you want us to help take you out of here? We could drop you off somewhere else that's uh, on the way. The, or you yeah. The one tiefling, she says, in exchange for what? You want to help us for what? There is no for what. We're just going to help you regardless. If you need a place to go and you don't have one, Join us we on our. We do not we... have any place to go. We have been stolen from our homes. It is a months-long trip back to where we are from. I don't know. We have no place to go. Ask them if they're hungry. Are all any of you hungry? Of course. I'll nod my head. I I'll get out some uh, some at this point pretty pretty dry biscuits out of my bag from the. From the from Dintel's Inn that I've brought with me, okay. and I, I hand it out to them. And they like quickly, we, like, <laughs> we don't like the status quo. We are the Stormbringers. The only thing we ask of you is spread our name. If you don't want to join us and work with us as a crew for fair wages, we will drop you off somewhere where you can be free. She kind of like looks down the line at the other people and. It's like a moment where she like is clearly speaking to them in Infernal, and the rest of you can hear that she's like talking to them. And Ricard, you get that she's just asking them individually, like what they want to do. <clears throat> and she says, "I think some of us would come to work with you, the Storm Bringers. Um, we will tell everyone that you s saved us." So, um, I have seen, uh, cleaner methods, but those goblins did this <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you did not little... get the, <laughs> the one. Rice. Uh, oh God. Are you translating this? Back yeah, to us. I'll translate it as I'm kind of going. She says he is probably at the temple warning the others, and then we'll probably take a ship out. He uh... that only makes it easier for us if they get on a, a ship. ship? <laughs> a ship, you say? <laughs> That's where we specialize. Actually, we have <laughs> quite the impressive ship, and it, it, in terms of rice. Maybe them all going to one place is probably a good idea. It... How how do you know this? Do you know where the ship lies? They came in okay. through Rachel. They so the other port. side, right? Yeah, exactly. The other side of Aquarin. You guys are in Port Rosalka right now, and then uh, on the northern side, and then Rachel's on the southern side of the island, which is, as we discussed, the pirate port, which is known for having a very rough reputation. Does Gwen have any contacts? On that side, and Rachel she does. Yeah, I don't Can... know about you guys, but I would like to catch them at the temple as soon as possible. We I'm should go. To... Yes, yeah. we should go to the temple. We cannot, on the good conscience as well as, as part of our pact, to Cadbro leave it desecrated and defiled. I agree, but uh, I do think we need to put some countermeasures in place for rice. We should probably try to see if one of Gwyn's contacts can keep an eye out at the port or let us know the movings of the ship. 
That would maybe, be, if that's possible. Yeah. Can anyone um, send a message? I can. I said one more. I, I can, but I don't want to if we're going. Sorry. Save your message. I, I can send the message, but if we're going to be in more combat later today, it would probably be better if I don't. Yeah. I'll, allow me to send the message. My message is more suited towards purpose. I'll also, I guess, since we're all gathered here, how many people? Have. Um, we have, oh, yeah. Also, sorry, uh, Dame uh, Rykard, I was asking you to ask the tieflings if they uh wouldn't mind me trying to burn their cuffs off. Mm, I I'll translate that. Can we can we lockpick them open? Wouldn't that be a lot uh, more? Not a lockpick. Not you, Gwyn. Maybe. Oh, Gwyn does. Doy. I tools. forgot. Gwen. Gwen has thieves tools. <laughs> right? mm, she doesn't. She doesn't. Mm. Oh. She has navigators tools and she has tinkerers tools. And I'm a little uncertain about the contact thing because I'm just not sure I want to do that without Gwen here because yeah. um, it's bringing up things from her past, yeah, and I don't know if she wants to yeah. pursue I mean, that route or not. I think it's probably. Oh, <laughs> I think you guys, I could go ahead and and uh, have a look around. I, I, you know, that I can be quite uh, unseen in this darkness. It is true, but do we not want to get to the ship as quick as possible and start chasing them down? Or are you asking if we should do a little more research beforehand? I feel like time is not on our side here. We can send a message to the ship to go to Port Rachel to block their escape. Well, the underman. No, we should get to. The, if, if, I, I think we should all go to the there. ship and head straight for the port. Or for Can, do we know? Have we seen the temple? Do we know how to get to it? No, but we know that it's on the northern side of the island. So if we take the ship and just kind of swoop around the island or just tell it to go it's, to it's Rachel. It's north of Port Rasulka. So um, oh, sorry, Port it's Rasulka. not on the Rachel side of land. The Rybor Temple is on the Rachel side of land. The Cadbro right. Temple out. is on the Port Rasulka side. <clears throat> so oh. in the Cadbro, wait, the Cadbro Temple is where the slavers are, or is the Rybor? Oh, the Cadbro Temple the Cadbro is where Temple. you guys are right now in Port Rasulka. It's just like oh, a okay. little bit north of the city, um, kind of getting towards um, the actual island part of Aquarin, like which is where you would walk through if you wanted to walk to Rachel, sort of thing. Instead, of, if you wanted to take land instead of sea. Rachel, the port of Rachel, is like this sunken cliffside port. And before you get to that cliffside port, there is a temple of Rybor on the southern side of Aquarin as well. Oh. So how far is the... It was the temple that Daniel temple... told you guys about as well. Um, when okay. she told you about, you know, its potential that this person that was killing off Rybor followers that would either go to Kilima or Aquarin, potentially both. Um, okay. So how far away is the uh, the Catborough Temple from our current location? You guys don't know. You know it's close to town, but you you like you you'd, you'd have to ask somebody for directions. Okay. Ulrich, Ulrich, where do you have that horse? I'm tied up outside. I'll go and get it. I mean, this place can't be farther away than half an hour, and if it's if if this guy ran away five minutes ago, then you should easily be able to catch him on horse. Is that something I'd be able to do? Navigate there on the horse and see if I can catch him. If you get some directions, probably, yeah. Mm, yeah. Can um, can, like, uh, yeah. Does the the tiefling? Uh, I lost. Us, it. Uh, yeah. The, the hot tiefling. Yeah. The pink tiefling. Yeah. Their leader. Well, which one? There's, there's, there's the tiefling who's the bartender who who seems like she she's a regular bartender at the salty barrel, and then there's tieflings that are slaves. I'll ask the bartender if she can provide directions to where the temple is. Yeah, she says, um, yes, just take the path here north, go straight north, and then veer off to the right. There's a crooked tree at the end of the path. It's, how, how far is it? Um, walking or a horse? Horse. Both. Walking maybe 45 minutes, and the horse maybe 10, 15. Oh, you should be easily you able to catch him. Easily. Can I ride oh. Chaka? Or... Ah, sure. Sure. Spike team. <laughs> Check out the radius ahead of us and 
interior of the temple. Very well, I will um, make ready the horse and we leave as soon as possible. All right, and we, are you you are going after, uh, you're going to the Cabro temple, should we follow you or should we go to the ship? Um... Follow us, tell the ship to head to the southern part of the island, and then rendezvous with us at the temple. Wonderful. Uh, I do think right, we should yeah. have at least one more. How many people do we have on the ship right now that can actually man guns? Because the ship's kind of like, if it's going to go out to sea alone, I don't think that's, you know... Not to see, but like if it's going to go down and it gets in you a fight with them. You need a minimum right? of five people to crew the ship as well. Yeah, so right now, Herc is yeah. on the ship and Ecarius is on the ship. So I was thinking if uh, so, so uh, if Valenthi, Gwyn, and I go to the ship, that would be five people and we could bring it around and provide firing uh, from the coastline if need be. I think that's probably for the best, no? I mean, we don't want to destroy the temple. Not no, all. not at all. Also, something but... that you learned from Guthurg is that the temple for Cadboro is underground. <clears throat> oh, okay. We uh, do we do we learn from Guther um about whether or not it would be possible to? Well, I can fly. I can fall. Yeah, I'm just trying to think if we can. So we 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 know we can anchor the ship like anywhere by just saying stop. I'm wondering if it's worth it to have us go out to there and then fly. I can fly in, but I don't think anybody else can fly. Um, we just tell the boat to start flying. Just flap its dragon wing. No, I think you. I think you guys take the horse and go, and then we'll follow behind on foot to provide support later. If we intercept Rice on the way, we'll take him out. If not, we will observe the entrance and circle the area to check for another yes. exit. Maybe do some scouting, preliminary scouting. We'll get there in 45 minutes, but catching Rice is incredibly important. So please, make haste. We will follow you. I will go I will go with, as well to the temple. I can ride the bull and the bull can fly. <laughs> That's cool as fuck. Um, uh, wait a minute. I ha I have to check something real quick because I might actually have a better way to get us all there real quick. I need to check Polly more to see if I can turn to flying things. Are you ready for the flight? <laughs> the flight of the whole party? I'm ready. Who needs ships, anyways? <laughs> we don't need I'm the never horse. ready for for Damien's spells. I ever. Am. Okay. I mean, I um. I still take the horse. Yes, you get the horse. You park the horse on my back at the giant flying. Clearly. Are you going to um transform? Yeah. Um. There, I, ooh, there's only CR two. I guess I'm gonna turn into a Quetzal co coatl, into a dinosaur. A huge size of pizza. Here's a nice picture of what I look I look like. The adult he, is his. He crouches over, his arms growing the bow his arms growing longer before they start turning red, transitioning into yellow. <laughs> Alright, while you're doing that, Sparky, I'm gonna head off. That's one action, uh, sir. Okay. Um towards the temple with the horse. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Okay. Um, what is this that you've done? Oh my god. I'm going to polymorph and turn into have a you, quest. Have you know. seen one of these before? Yeah. Uh, so I mean, is... like how, how many dinosaurs would I have seen? Because I remember I asked about dinosaurs and you said they are known. I mean, the yeah, dinosaurs I've seen. Certain dinosaurs was... are common. This dinosaur is not common. <laughs> I mean, maybe a pterodactyl <laughs> um, you would have seen. I mean, that's, that's, yeah, that, that works too. I mean, I don't think that's an actual mechanical option unless you want to reflavor the pterodactyl. I decide, like, oh, the pterodactyl not on the list. What? It's it's a pteranodon. I remember I played. I got to make a base on one of these in Ark. That was a good game. I loved Ark for a while. Do you have the stats for this creature? I have them open. I can also import them because I can do it through the wild. Yeah, like how do you spell the name? 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna post. That's a lot of. That's a lot of. It's a lot of consonants. Yeah. What is this? One of them. <laughs> Quiz. Quetzal. 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 I'm a Quetzal 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 I took it's Polymorph. It's so weird looking. It uh, is so yeah, weird. You can, you can turn into this. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> we'll say yes. <laughs> okay, I'm so just... you turn into this. Ulrich, you're going around to the front of the building to get the horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then just heading off immediately. I've drawn you guys a crude map, as I do, because it seemed like we were having some hard times understanding. Um, this, okay, all my text is flipped. Hang on a second here. Whoop, whoop. Maybe I'll send a picture of this. This is the port here, okay? There is, a, like, a mm -hmm. pathway. This is to the Cadbro Temple. This is to Rachel, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Up on the hill there, there's the Blyes. There's your ship. There is the Salty Barrel, which is on mm -hmm. fire right now. And there's mm -hmm. the Anchorages over there, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um... <clears throat> as you guys have not um, acquired a map for this area because it seems like Port Rosolka is not mapped um, and is one of these places that is just very simple <clears throat> but Ulrich you can go around and grab mm -hmm. um, the horse mm -hmm. my really good drawing very, very mm -hmm. helpful <clears throat> so I'm not sure if that helps because I I'm um I don't I wouldn't want you guys to like I mean you're welcome to do whatever you like but considering that the Cadbro Temple is underground it'd be really really difficult to hit with a ship from ashore this is also far from yeah. shore. <clears throat> no, that's a good point. Um, I think I think everybody who can get there as quickly as possible should go. I can bring up the rear. Um, oh. I go Quetzal, I'm huge size, so... Yeah, how many can you carry with that? That, that I would have to do the weight. I don't think any of your... Because I don't really weigh anything, because I'm a fucking dead motherfucker. It would be four times your strength times 15. Uh, I have 15 strength. Do the math, I suck at math. 900 four pounds. Four times your strength times 15? I assume you all are not combined 900 pounds, right? Asking no. for a friend. God, no. <laughs> no. Valanthi and really I probably carry everyone. Weigh, like... It's just a matter of, like, you guys yeah. need to pile on top of each other. Somebody could probably go with Ulrich on the horse if he's okay with it. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, I can, like, I can just hang on to a leg. I fly anyway, so I can hang on to a leg and be fine. <laughs> You're just hanging yeah. up. You hang a rope from my leg for you to hang from. You're just all trailing behind yeah. it like a kite, a reverse kite. All right. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, so who's piling on the dinosaur? Me. Okay. I I feel bad because I got 80 feet of fly, so you're all gonna suffer for this. Okay, right. Valente's on the dinosaur. I assume Gwyn is game. Sheev, you're hanging onto a leg. You're on the dinosaur, Leo, yes. Doing? Gwyn is also game. I'm on my flying bull. You're gonna, on your flying bull. Okay, what's the flying speed? Flies. The gargoyle. Yeah. 60 feet. 60 feet? Okay. It's, so, it's zoom. Okay. It is a little bit slower than dinosaur. And Ulrich, you like run around the front um, where you see some fishermen and local people trying to put out the fire at the salty barrel. Mm -hmm. And you like quickly grab the horse and... Yeah! <laughs> Head off. As I, as I move off... Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna shout, the goblins try to burn down the inn. <laughs> okay. We are, we are rallying at the Cabra Temple. Join us when you can. Make either deception or persuasion. <clears throat> I will make a, I don't think either of them matter. Uh, I'm being relatively deceptive. <laughs> so I'll make a are. deception check. Okay. And with, I, uh, I am, not going to use actually tactical mind because I've only got one second wind left. Okay, um, fifteen. All right. Um. Okay. So who's the fastest here? What's the ho horse's dash speed? The uh, the the dinosaur is the fastest. Uh, eighty feet fly speed. So. You say that though, but a riding no. horse, a riding horse can um. 
not dash as a bonus action. Uh, 120 feet is how fast a riding horse can move, dashing each With turn. dash? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. dashing is 160 for the... the um, Bastards. The dry dinosaur, because 80 feet fly. Nor well, wait, right, Damien? Is it 80 Maybe feet or 80 feet base? Yeah, so 160 per round for the dinosaur. Okay, 160 per round. So the dinosaur is the fastest. Who's second fastest? It would be War Horse. A horse? Or 120, yeah. Okay, anyone on the dinosaur uh, make perception checks. Hey. Ooh, I, can I mean, if the, if the gargoyle dashes, it can also go 120. Yeah, but it's still going to be the slowest here. <clears throat> I think I'm getting uh, too much wind in my eyes, and they're starting to water, so I cannot see anything. I rolled an 11. I cannot roll dice good today. That's my highest roll, and this is a 12. Oh, it takes a minute, <gasps> you know? Like, it takes a minute to cast. Yes. Can, uh, can you r roll for uh, Gwyn as well? Yes, I can, because Thank I am you. piloting Gwyn, and I'm doing a bad job of that. Um, uh, I just want to say one thing, Sparky. If we spot, oh, thank God. If we spot our That's goblin dirty. friend on the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to eat him. Like, okay. my inner dinosaur. Hold, hold that there, okay? Yeah, um, so <laughs> Gwyn rolled a 20. Dirty. You guys, um, Gwyn does spot rice on the road full like sprinting down a gravel road and i'm gonna drop you guys onto a, another map it's just cool. an old map um i know i know you're about to tell us but how high up are we just real quick you guys, i wouldn't go that high in case i get knocked out of this i'm not going more high than up as you need to be how high do you want to be nothing more than 20 feet above the air okay um mm -mm -mm. let me just do this Right now we're on the prowl for goblin. We gotta say low. Okay. Um, he does see you guys, so he. Quick, mm. <clears throat> can I ready an action now or? Yeah, sorry. If I saw him, like, when does he see us? Do we have time to act before he sees us or no? Just one second. You're fine. <clears throat> we got a lot going on this. We have dinosaurs and flying yeah. bulls and horse war horses and shit. When in doubt, you got to turn into a giant monster. That's how it works. I love polymorph, dude. What a great spell. What I... a just. What an insanely good spell. It It's so like. I... I really didn't think I was the polymorph guy until that became me. I don't have like I have like four spells on my spell list okay. as a bard, and I was like, as what? Gwen sees him, he turns over his shoulder. He sees you guys first. He um, and there's a streak of light that. Can you guys drop your tokens um, on yeah. the dinosaur? Ooh, there's noise playing. Is there? Okay, there's an old map. Yeah. So look at that. Everybody on the dinosaur, dinosaur included, please make a dexterity saving throw. Is this a spell? It is. Uh, counter spell. <clears throat> okay. Um, you don't ha didn't have perception to see him, so unfortunately, oh, I didn't. it's right. a surprise. <clears throat> right. Even, okay, because I didn't roll well enough, Gwyn did. Fair enough. That's the uh, the DM equivalent Ooh. of, fuck you, get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> no, that's fair. <laughs> Unfortunately, you did not see him cast it. You guys lit, did, literally, as, aside from Gwyn, just see the streak of light coming through. That's totally fair, bro. That's totally fair. And the dinosaur rolled a 22. Can't hate the player, hate the game. I uh, rolled a 9. You rolled a 9. 20, 20 Damien. Uh, uh, then Gwyn is going to roll as well. Can I just, I can't, I should not be allowed to roll dice. She rolled a nine and Gwyn rolled a five. I, this is disgusting. Okay. I have a curse, bro. So Gwyn, Sheev, and Valente, you're all going to take 30 points of fire damage as this huge ball of fire is hurled through the sky at you guys. Um, oh, yeah. Right? Dinosaur is going to take 15 of that. So, bad news. And we're all going to roll for initiative. <laughs> I'm, I'm unconscious. Not okay. <laughs> and she's unconscious. She's I uh, hope you got a good grip on that leg. Did you tie yourself down? <laughs> no. Okay, so you're going to fall. 
<laughs> no, I didn't. Sheev, you're gonna you're fall. Gonna float, actually. You're gonna um, yep. I mean, right. you, you won't I fall float. all the way to the ground. Mind you, if you're I'm unconscious, kind of a... how does that Would work? You, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't have hover, I just but have... I'm also a ghost. I know. So how, to this is up to you. Would you take fall damage? No, let's be realistic from a gameplay point of view. You would a hundred percent take fall damage if, yeah. as if you were just normal. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent take fall damage. I think what? because you're yeah, not absolutely. conscious, especially. So you're just gonna fail yeah. the first death save, okay? Fucking Jesus! <laughs> yeah, you get hit by this. It's like <sighs> there's this moment Alex? where you guys are just caught off guard by this. Gwyn like yells out, "Like there he is!" And then there's just. <sighs> Um, and just, she falls, um, horses coming up to the rear, Leo, yeah, it's about there, coming up behind them, exactly. Um, God. and I need you guys to roll for initiative again, please. Alright, well, she You fell rolled... with us five, Max? Oh next my year. god! <gasps> nice. Guys! <laughs> oh, I rolled a Nicely done, Valente. Well done, Valente. Dude, what the fuck is that? I'm not gonna lie, if I would have failed that, we would have all been falling to the ground. You know that, right? Yeah. yeah. I have exactly 30 hit points. I rolled, I, I rolled a fucking dude. Oh, God. It's crazy, too, because you, your aid, I had 28 hit points. So, <laughs> you're I, was so only two hit, I was two hit points, or three off surviving that for barely. Um, Holy cow. Leo and Ulrich initiative. Um, oh, also... my. my... Am I there? Yeah. You're behind them. Okay. You're not that far okay, behind nice. them. You're, you're just yeah. on the edge of the map here. Can you see yourself? I just I imagine you're like on your horse. Oh, okay. Yeah. A flaming is bird. This horse, is this horse going to be a, a thin, weasley, sissy riding horse? <laughs> or is it a strong, powerful, work working man's war horse? Uh, roll a d100. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I'm going to channel oh. Sunflower's rotting corpse into this. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> We're 85. Um, yeah, it's a pretty sturdy horse. Definitely looks like it's been taken care of and fed. <clears throat> it doesn't look like it's been in battle before, that's for sure. But um, mm -hmm. definitely a riding horse, like around town and getting across the port, probably. Fantastic. So is it okay if I use the war horse statistics of it for it? It just gives it a bit more health. Uh, just more health. Okay, yes, but you can't use the trampling charge. The trample. No, that's fine. That's fine. Mm hmm Okay, um, and Leo, what did your gargoyle roll? Oh, right. Uh, 14. I don't have a gargoyle, so I'm just... I, I will import it, but I can't open the importer for creatures at the same time that I'm playing. It crashes my whole foundry. So I'm just going to put this guy here, okay? Yeah. <laughs> He's a Durgar warlord. <laughs> Durger Warlord. And I take him. <laughs> the Durger Warlord. Sorry, what did you roll for initiative? The Durger Warlord. 14. 14? 14 for the Durger Warlord. Durger Warlord. <laughs> Damn that Durger. Um, okay. Damn Durger Warlord, Turker Jerbs. Uh, okay, is everybody in? Everybody's in. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So what happened? Today, you are first. I waved the white flag. <laughs> Sorry, that was me? Yes. Yes, nat 20. Alright. <laughs> um, I'm torn as a player. Do I see Shiv all from... Yes. Uh, yeah, you for sure. Do. Yeah. You're like a, a little, like, there's a second where the fire, like, blinds you, but as you open your eyes, you do see him hit the ground and, like, look absolutely still. <clears throat> Making those noises. So, I, mm, how... <sighs> Would it be an action to jump off? No, I would kill myself. No, you myself. can use your movement to jump off, but you're only like 20 feet up. You wouldn't kill yourself. I don't know how much 20 feet is, but okay. Um, first, before I jump off, I'm going to cast uh, Eldritch Blast. I haven't used that before. Nice. Whee. And... Uh, shoot the beam straight at I can't remember his name. Rice. Rice. Rice, yes. Okay. Uh with just fiery rage in my eyes, completely blind with anger. Go ahead and roll for 
for your attack. 12. <clears throat> it just like hits the ground by his feet and this dirt explodes up. <laughs> he keeps running. Uh, and then once I don't even look to see if the spell hits and I jump off Rykard's back and uh, try and look for Shiv, Shiv's body. Um, so you're jumping off? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, you're going to take six points of bludgeoning damage no. as you jump. Okay. Oh my god! Um, I'm, I'm barely conscious. Like, I'm one hit point away. Okay. But you're still, you're still alive. I mean, it, it hurts a little. Like, you, like, jam your knees as you come down, but you, like, readjust and you can head towards Sheev. Um, I'm just going to do this. You guys are like here. Okay. Gwen's still on the dinosaur. <clears throat> like here. Okay. They're good. Ulrich, you are up. Mm -hmm. I am going to spur this horse into action and make him dash okay. and move over here and move into position. And again, um, non lethally, I will. As I'm riding, I work myself up into a frenzy as I would like to rage. And I'll rage, and I will use a great weapon attack um, recklessly <clears throat> for a 19. Um, yeah, as you come down, there is this same like greenish black magic that like comes up between so. you two. Four. Damn, that dice was on a 20 and there was a 2, so both of these are going to miss, um, but he will take 10 damage as, as I'm battering through, <laughs> battering through, just the pressure on my weapon on the shield is going to um, uh, sort of uh, crush him a little bit and he'll take 10, uh, 10 points of damage. He says, oh, yes, yes, we can talk about this! There's a... Uh... We don't have problems between you and me, it's, it's not a... let's not be hasty here! The time for talking is over! How's the time for blood? And I will, uh... Oh, I actually get to... No, no, ignore that. Ignore that, I didn't hit. Um, and I will end my turn. Okay. Uh, it is Gwyn's turn. She is still on the dinosaur. Uh, I think she's going to... Uh... Uh, you wanted to stay riding the dinosaur. We wanted to. Yeah, I'm gonna off. stay riding the dinosaur and hold her action. Just kind of survey the battlefield, look for more. Actually, I'll ever look for more out, more enemies if there are any around here. Just, like, can she just do a general perception check? She can make a perception check. Yep. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, also, just as a note, she did pick up the shotgun before yeah, it we needs left to be repaired, the burning though. building. <clears throat> yeah, it's fine. I'm just making sure we didn't leave it in the fucking burning. <laughs> it's like hey, remember that gun you just got? <laughs> <laughs> we left it behind uh, in the tavern yeah. that was on fire, and the... now it's melted, and you can't use it ever again. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry you missed that session. <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, 22 for perception. Yeah, she kind of looks ahead, and she can see um, like how this path like curves around and then comes uh, to the end of it, there, the crooked tree. So she can see that you guys are pretty close to like the path to enter into the Cadbury temple. Um, doesn't look like any other enemies that you could see nearby. It's a pretty empty road here. Yeah, awesome. I'll just have her yell out uh, that the that we're, we're all clear. We can deal with rice how we want. There's nobody nearby. Okay. Okay, it is the gargoyle's turn. Okay. Gargoyle. Uh, so moving 60 feet, 120 feet, up, 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 up. sort of uh, trying to cut off the um, cut off uh, rice. Uh, let's just go there and flies like low to the ground. Okay. Uh, I can't move it though. I think. Like here? Yeah, about. Uh, that's it. Okay. And he's using dash. <clears throat> All right. Um, dinosaur? Ricard? 
the dinosaur is going to fly up and swoop down to attack him. This is going to be funny. I do a flyby, so I'm going in for the swoop to cut him off forward if he can. Uh... Okay. Ooh. Woof. Woof. Um, okay. The sound effects are so <laughs> No, wah, wah, wah. Um, as you're coming down to this flyby, um, just because you rolled a natural one, you actually, like, scoop to one side a little bit too fast, and Gwyn tumbles off your back. <clears throat> Oof. Does she yeah, need to make a you, or anything? <laughs> uh, she doesn't take any damage, but she just, like, rolls out of it. Can um, I I'm gonna keep flying how and, like, cool she looks while she does it? She does look pretty cool. <laughs> Can I keep flying and, like, grab yeah, them she in looks my pretty talon? Cool. Or no? Sorry? Can I grab them in my talon and keep flying ahead to cut them off a little bit? Keep grab grab who with your talon? When? Or uh, not? I think well, she'll just stay on the ground. Already, so. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going yeah, to fly ahead of them and try to... I'm going to just land in front of them to cut them off. Okay. You're going to land on the ground? Yeah, in front of them. Okay. This looks like giant... Dinosaur looks confused. All right. Um, Leo, what do you want to do? I guess I'm the only healer up. Um, and Jack's... Uh, oh, Jack's back there. That's not dead. good. Uh, <clears throat> he's dead. I'm unconscious, he's not unconscious. dead. <laughs> he's unconscious. He's Well, technically undead well yeah i'm dead but not like dead dead you know it's a it's a state of being dead it's le levels yeah. to this shit you know there's levels to this shit yeah so i'm blind which is why i didn't really uh, consider dip, 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 where he is i thought he was where the goblin was Nay. Which means I can't actually get to you. That is okay. Uh, I guess I'm just going to move uh, closer than like so. Uh, okay. Can I? Can I move myself? Where are you trying to move to? Uh, like here. Yep. And then I'm also gonna shoot just two Eldritch Blasts at the uh, uh, Goblin. Okay. That's a dirty 20 and a 10. Uh, the dirty 20 hits, the other one does not. Okay, so then he's also gonna... He's gonna take 11 damage, and uh, he's gonna again get partially petrified on his leg, which makes him slow. Okay. That's it. Okay, um, it's his turn. He looks around at all you guys and he says, Listen, <laughs> this doesn't need to end the way that you guys want it to end, okay? This could end in uh, golden riches for you guys if you wanted to. This uh, killing me is not going to fix this problem. It's not going to make any of this go away. This seems like the only solution to the problem that will satisfy us and our goddess who you have betrayed. Who you have... Wrong, wrong, betrayed. Help me out here, guys. <laughs> wrong, is good. Oh, well, you have shamed. Sure. <laughs> Sacrilege. <laughs> what do you say? Say <laughs> we tie you to the right. front of the ship. Get it out. <laughs> <laughs> he says, guys. Okay, listen. I could uh, just get out of your hair right now, right here, okay? You're never going to see me again. You're never going to hear from me again. It just, uh... <laughs> I am this screeching on the tape. That's why you hear coming from the dinosaur just screeches into his face. All right. Um... Hey. Do anything? 
Okay. Uh, survive. I'd, I'd like to. You'd like to be alive and survive? I'd like to, for each chief Would to be alive, be too. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like, is it my turn, DM? Nope, it's his turn. So he is okay. going to disengage. Um, he runs into the trees and disappears. Disengage is so cool. It's so clean, I mean. I just want to I'll see Valanthe hurl a fireball. Now he, he is slowed. <clears throat> yep, but he disappears I mean, he's... from view. <clears throat> and I don't know where he went. Um... Simple, you just burn it all a fireball instead of forest on fire. <laughs> well, Ooh. yeah, you can... Um... It is Sheep's turn. Sheep, make a death Only save you throw. can prevent forest fires. Alright, come on, bro. This can't, this can't go <laughs> wrong, right? I'm crying over you. The tears <laughs> of justice. That's all I can do while I ready my fireball. <laughs> well, I ready my it's really... fireball of rage. Okay, Valente, you are up. Um. Oh, fireball! Why not? Do I have any idea if he went left or right from the path? Um, he kind of went straight back into the trees. It's hard to say. Like he could have veered. Um, but he's not visible. <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to eyeball it and just throw a fireball in his general direction. Sure. Again, more for flair than real um, effect. You definitely have the range, though. You definitely do. If you, if you guess right, you definitely have the range. range. I have to guess. Uh, and that Dwergar is Leo's Yeah, that's beast. the gargoyle. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That, that Durga is a uh, bull who's a gargoyle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A, a what? Exactly. The Durga is a bull who is a gargoyle. <laughs> With a wing. Okay. Of course. All right. Um, <clears throat> you toss this across the forest almost in just like a rage, a streak through the sky that lights it up, and the trees immediately just like come up in flames um but it is quite wet out here we know that we're in the wet season so the fire like burns but it doesn't burn like how some of the buildings were burning um it's hard to say whether or not you've hit him you don't hear do anything. i hear a scream no you do uh. not <laughs> ulrich you are up mm -hmm. okay um using my so 80 feet of movement from the horse um can i begin to search the woods for this miscreant <laughs> yeah you can <clears throat> okay should i make an investigation roll... check. okay i think i might investigation check okay uh i am going to use um my tactical mind here for the first time um, which means I get to roll a a um a one d ten dash r one d ten and add it to that fifteen. So that comes a twenty four. Mm. Okay. Woo. You see some like bare feet tracks in the mud, and you follow them, and then you see like one being made as you um like are watching them. <clears throat> okay, I wish to try and ride the creature down, and. Trying to Whack him with my sword. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be a disadvantage, but you can definitely. Okay, try. fantastic. I'm not gonna go weapon master here. I will be. Um, I will be. Um, attacking normally. Um, because I will be recklessly attacking. So two normal attacks. And does a twenty-five and a twenty hit. Yeah, both hit. Okay, fantastic. So they're going to do a total of. These are all non-lethal, by the way. Um, in total, a total of 27 damage, slashing damage. Okay. <clears throat> I have him here! <laughs> ah! Yeah, you ah! can hear that his, like, little goblin screams. <laughs> they are music Stop! to my ears. <laughs> 
um, as you just like kind of rip into him, but you can't see, but you see blood pooling on the mud mm -hmm. beneath where you saw the footprints. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will um, sort of maintain my position around him where I hit him and end my turn. Okay. It is Gwyn's turn. Uh... Right here, Ulrich. Mm -hmm. So Ulrich has him, like, in in range? Or not grappled, just in, he, in range? He attacked him, so he knows he's within five feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... I'm going to have Gwyn run over to where Ulrich is uh, and just try and stand, like, opposite him um, in a way that's, like, just to get as close as possible. Okay. And then I'm going to have her, like, try and non-lethally uh, butt of a gun just pop him in the head. Um, I don't know if she has a – does she have a mechanic for that, like a gun butt hit or not really? No. Uh, it would be an improvised a weapon. Improvised weapon, yeah. Yeah, but I don't think she has any, like, good buffs for that, though. No, just making, like, a, um... Make like, like a, it's, a, it's a 1d4 plus strength. Uh... Of course, that's a 19 on the die, like... <laughs> uh, and that only does... I think she only has one strength, right? Uh, uh, no, so. that does one damage because she has no no strike modifier. So she kind of takes the butt of her gun and just smacks, trying to smack. Smacks. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. There is does like one a damage. quiet. <clears throat> That's going to be it for her turn. Okay. Gargoyle. Uh, I guess the gargoyle would go running after um, Ulrich. I don't know if the gargoyle is able to see where the horse ran. Um, see where the it horse has dark ran? Vision? I mean, did not like Ulrich not use Ulrich? Horse? No. Yeah, he, could tr he knows he can see Ulrich. Ulrich is not far from him. Okay, yeah, then it's... And, and Ulrich, sorry, Ul Ulrich brought down the goblin? He attacked him. No, he's not dead yet. Okay, then it's going to charge with the goblin. Okay, you can't see him, but uh, you can make an attack at disadvantage. Well, like, charge there and then see. Yeah, I mean, look where it is and then make two attacks. So the first one at disadvantage would be a 14. Okay. And then the second one at disadvantage would be a 13. The bull like charges through and like kind of like goes right by, doesn't find purchase, and turns around, runs the other way. Um, just hard to hit him because you can't see him and he's small. <clears throat> okay. Um, anything else you'd like him to do? Do you want him? So he's moved closer, so he's like up here. Yeah, can't really do anything else. Okay. Um, dinosaur? Quetzal Kutlis? Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl. Me thinks that I am going to. Uh... I think I'm gonna drop my form. I'm gonna just drop concentration. Okay. Oh, let me revert myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the little sound that made. It went. I have one second level spell slot and four first levels. I'm going to... I'm going to cast Detect Thoughts on myself. Okay, what uh, are you thinking? <laughs> I'm running towards the wilderness to pinpoint his location for the others. <clears throat> on the bottom it says, once you detect that... Let me see where it is. You can use the spell to detect the presence of thinking creatures you can't see. When you cast spell or... Okay. That, or is it actually good yeah, you yeah. can identify that he's in between Ulrich and Gwen. <clears throat> I'll point out the spot as best I can using my telepathy, not to like let them know verbally that they know. Okay. All and I'll right. stay kind of close to him within 30 feet to get his direction if he moves. Okay. Um, Leo, you are up. Feels so smart right now. Then I'm gonna move uh, towards Valente and 
um, sheath. Okay. And I'm going to cast aid. All right. At awesome. Fourth level, which means 15 temporary hit points. Oh, not temporary shit. hit points, 15, 15 hit points on top of the normal. Nice. What they could have. Okay, so she, you come back up. The last thing you remember. Is Sorry. So how many how many hit points do I have total? Fire being hurled at you. Fifteen. I have fifteen. You were at zero. You got fifteen. Now you're at fifteen. Oh shit. Damn, wait, it's wow, like okay, I have 15. <laughs> no, no, I have 42 max HP, but wait, sorry, so you gave me 15, I get 15 total, correct? Yes. Cool, making but, sure. But also, your maximum hit points are increased to now 50. Oh boy, okay. 57, okay, but cool. I'm going to remember that number 15. and not edit it, because if I edit it, I'm going to forget what my normal hit points are, and I'm There's not going to do that. that so especially, will... Jack. Right under the right side health bar, that's your max bonus. Oh, You're sick. Cool. Well, I don't want to forget how many hit points everything. I've got. I'm gonna just... I'll just know that you're back up. Sick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just look back up. I'm going to like open my eyes slowly and just kind of like roll over. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I fucking fell from like 20 feet. So like my arms like dislocated. I'm just going to fucking <laughs> pop it back in and uh, just like slowly just like take stock of my situation. So, uh, Ooh, as soon as I, I see I, you sit up, I will uh, hug you worried and uh, tears uh, like streaming down uh, my face. Uh, not really, I don't like that. It, uh, I, whew, last time I was like that, I burned alive in a cave. Oh, and I'll, yeah, I'll hug well, you back as you hug me, and I'll look over uh, towards uh, Leo as well, and I'll kind of give him a little. Uh, you stay nod. with me this time. <laughs> I'll look at and, uh, Thank you, my friend. No dying Valen today. Valente, you I'm also kinda, get the 15, right? I'm going to tuck my face I, into uh, Valente's shoulder as I kind of just hug Valente. You're going to what? Tuck my face like into your shoulder, like just because, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, um, Leo, was there anything else you wanted to do on your turn? Uh, can it. Nope. <clears throat> All right, it's his turn. Um, he's gonna nimble escape first. Not that guy. He disengaged, bro. It's so good. Oh, uh, the goblins. Just goblin things. Um, yeah, yeah, he's gonna do this. He's gonna line himself up here. And he drops his concentration. You guys can all see him, Ricard. You can feel him like moving out of the range of your detect thoughts. Um, and he looks at all of you guys and he said, Fine, I tried to cooperate. <clears throat> okay. I need. Do any trees provide half cover or anything? Partial cover? Mm. They might, but it's not going to help you in this situation. Because it's a constitution saving throw. You guys, um... Sorry. Gargoyle, Gwyn... Why won't this fucking turn? Gargoyle, Gwyn, uh, Ulrich, Ricard, and Leo all make constitution saving How throws. How far away are we? How far is the distance here? No, it's I fucking can't counterspell. It's too far away. Who 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 do, who does this? Rice. Uh, shithead. There's only one person. No, so, oh. so I I make a save. It's one guy. All right. I got oh, an sorry. extra one. Constitution saving throw. DM. Constitution saving throw. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Gwyn's probably fucked by this. She only has 13 HP, so this is not great. Fucking seven for Gwyn. Jesus. It's work. It does love. I've already... The, the Warhorse got a 14, but I'm just trying if this works. Okay. Your trauma is about to come back. I should wait, 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 wait. Okay, so Gwyn and 
Warhorse and Leo. Um, are we good? We all yeah. Handled? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Gwyn, no. Gwyn, Gwyn and and Leo and and the horse gonna take mm-hmm. thirty five points of cold damage. Oh, as this huge cold, <laughs> cold rips yeah, through the I forest mean, and. Yeah, Gwyn is fucking unconscious. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then the rest of you take okay. half of that. So the rest of you take 17. 17. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's the range on this spell? Yeah, so Ricard, 17. Ulrich, 17. Gargoyle, 17. So let's see. How much movement did he use? Oh, not that. Whoop. He will move another 10 feet. <clears throat> He's like skipping through the trees. He keeps mm-hmm. running. Um, he says, don't hate me because you ain't me. <laughs> and runs away. <clears throat> and Sheev, it is your turn. Wonderful. I'm going to look Valanthe dead in the eyes. And I'm gonna I'm gonna ask, if I can get you to him, can you kill him in one shot? Maybe, I don't know, but also Wonderful. As she says I that, like I am going to for the first time in this campaign, I think this is the first time anybody has cast this spell. Oh, is uh, it I uh... am going to say I'm going to basically with my fingers, I'm going to paint... The, Thomas, you'll know this because you watch fucking European soccer. I'm going to paint the VAR symbol like a door. And I'm going to open a door between dimensions and cast Dimension Door. And I'm going to drop me and Valanthe right in front of this fucking guy. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds good. Uh, do you know where he is? Uh, so that's the, oh, that's the one thing checks. I'm... I mean, you can Curious about. just see if yeah. you can see, get a vantage point on him. Because he is in the trees here. You did just see the spell cast. Let's just make a perception yeah. check. Oh, he's on a high DC. <clears throat> cool. Wow. All right. I just I just went unconscious, so can I please get some good luck? 12. <laughs> okay, you can you can gauge where he is, approximately. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to kind of just basically, in an instant, just take Valanthe, step through, and both of us are going to appear right in front of him. And I'm going to just say to him, you tried to take me from her. Now, she's going to take your life from you. And end my turn. Okay, he says, okay. I didn't know I was getting involved in a marital spat. Not my problem. <clears throat> um, how, how does he look? Does he look hurt? He looks hurt. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Because um, he's, he's a fucking rat bastard. <laughs> yeah, he's a spell jammer. Uh, okay. That um, brings us, Sheev, that's it. Valente, it's your turn. He, like, kind of raises okay. his hand. He's like, <laughs> you are so good at what you guys do. You know how good you guys would be at slave trading? I gotta say, you guys would be the best. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> well, well, well. You just ran into the wrong people, buddy. Yeah, and, um... <laughs> Same as before, I'll cast my form of dread to make him scared. Uh, oh, what? Is this limited per day? Oh, it is. I can't use it. Yeah, I think it's only once. For your proficiency bonus, you've used it. How many? Your proficiency bonus is three. Oh, you used, you used it, it, though, it once. We use it at the blies. You, yeah. Once mm-hmm. the blies, once in the once in the fucking uh, bar, and then this should be your last no, one of the day. No, she used it twice with Gabriel. She. Oh, uh, true. Yeah, so true. you used all three. Yeah, you had to recast it because yeah, to get it's him to do this, you had to recast it. it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Did I? I thought I just recast cause fear. Oh, maybe. Huh. No, no, yeah, uh, yeah. She, no. she, she cast yeah. cause fear. She didn't use okay. um form of dread. That twice. Yes. Okay. But how many times can you use your form of dread? Three. Three times. Oh, a number of times your proficiency bonus. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you should be good to go. Thanks. 
<clears throat> okay, my last one. Okay. Last ditch effort. Uh, okay. Anyway. And on top of that, I will, again, come in real close to him, face to face, and cast my good old fireball. Okay. <laughs> and sculpt spells around me, do Gwen, this. and... Don't do it! Please! Please! <laughs> we, we can talk about this! I can give you guys money. I can give you guys ship. You guys could be the captains of all the fleets of goblin pirates. How does that sound? That would be fun, right? Mm, that sound we... kind of fun. <laughs> Sorry, but we are the Stormbringers. Too late. And I will cast my spell. Dead Don't, on yep. him. Does he have any counter spells left? <clears throat> He's gonna counter spell. <laughs> I'm gonna counter spell his counter spell. <clears throat> okay. Um, so it still goes off. Yep. I mean, we only have one reaction, right? <clears throat> I only have one reaction, but I haven't used it yet, so. Yeah. Okay. Dexterity saving throw. Yeah, he goes to you go to cast it, Blanthe, and you go to kind of push it like you did with the other guy to like execute him with this fireball. He goes to try to cancel the magic out, and I just kind of just around the corner, just kind of like nope. You <laughs> <laughs> roll for damage as it thunders overhead, and the clouds come in, and it begins to rain. And it's where it starts is just a drizzle. <clears throat> Thirty-four. Oh. Thirty-four damage. Please tell me. And it surrounds Please. not only Rice's small form, but all the trees around burst into flames. There's this... <sighs> explodes out from his form, and he is dead. Let's fucking go. <clears throat> and all, all these trees begin to go. burn, and there's a smoke that goes up into this into the air and then it begins to pour rain and you guys immediately the smoke kind of goes out the fire goes out um and you guys are getting soaking wet <clears throat> uh, i'll turn to shiv to shiv well that was exciting um don't know about the dimensional doors but that was exciting it was extremely exciting and i almost died but oh don't do that again we're alive we're okay uh, Listen, I I didn't know I was going to be carried by a dinosaur. I had no idea. That was ex that was new information for me. But I didn't. We made it. We're okay. I'm gonna give you another hug, and I need to rest. <laughs> is what I'm mm. going to say. Before I die again, we should take <laughs> some kind of a rest. I am exhausted. Yep. Even in my short, death. Short short break, and then we go to the temple. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I'll group, have you in, noticed, group back up with the rest. Have you guys noticed how many strange animals just seem to be included in our group? So many. Just... Yes. Strange beast. Strange. Strange beast. Look, I grew up liking dinosaurs as a kid, okay? Would inspire me to start reading. Dinosaurs. You guys uh, group up for a little bit of a short rest here. Mm -hmm. Can we short uh, rest? Yeah. You guys yes, are kind of on the edge of this uh, rice's God. small ashen form now amongst these burnt trees being covered by cool rain. And the rain actually feels quite nice at this time after you guys have been involved in multiple fires today. <laughs> Um, yeah, we have. But it's a little bit of like a shower off. You guys can take a moment to breathe on the road here Wolf. and consider your next steps. <clears throat> I'm rolling all these fucking things. And I think that's where we shall end our session. All right, damn. I have a wonderful question that you could have never seen coming, right? Okay. Did we level up? We level up? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's a good question, though. But... Yeah. Not today, my friend. Not today. 
one more level and then we could do sick race cars. Yeah, you so. guys are level seven, right? So it's gonna, mm -hmm. you know, it's gonna be a little bit harder to level up now that we're getting into higher levels. You need multiple goblin fights, <laughs> which technically you did have multiple goblin fights. <clears throat> that is true. In uh, one evening, not even one day, just one evening. I know today has been a very productive day for you guys. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Okay. Happy Thanksgiving. To be against uh, adding health, I know that for sure. Um, I, I will I say it's the best thing. Mercer is. Yeah, okay. he doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm, He's a purist. I'm curious, actually, what your guys' thoughts are on this. And you don't have to tell me what you do, Clark. Are you, what do you guys, a lot of discourse around some of the DMing stuff I see is like, are you guys always 100% accurate with monster HP numbers? Do you guys always Never. go for numbers accurate kill or do you go for the narratively satisfying kill? Because I have it, I have my 100% firm answer. I'm curious what you guys go for. If I'm it's if almost it's, if... always, I will go based on the HP. But but mm. with that said, there are probably there have probably has been a few occasions where I have, um, mm. like I think there was one this this campaign with the Scorch Biters maybe that I gave the last blow to Valente because I I was like okay this is and it was like an NPC in between her and the next turn and it was like okay she mm -hmm. needs to this is going to be yeah. way more poetic for her to hit this last shot than an NPC. Like, I really don't like to give the last shot to NPCs. That's really the only yeah. occasion that I'm going to move things around. <clears throat> yeah, that's the best. There's two two schools of thought here, or two rules that I, I go for, exactly what Sparky said. If it's going to be epic, there's no reason not to, like, either nudge the HP um, lower a little bit, or if you've massively underestimated your party and they do, like, 200 damage in the first round, and that's when the combat's about to end, I will give them an extra, like, 50 health, so it lasts at least two rounds. Um, round or two, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you, you can tell, like, if combat's going on for, like, five rounds and the, the party, like, slowing down a little bit, then it, I think it's perfectly fine to be like, yeah, it's just, you guys just, um, you've actually just managed to kill him. Um, yeah, I very much, I very much depend on the scene. Sometimes I, I up monster HP, but I think a great guideline, if you don't want to make it too arbitrary, is to take the, uh, the hit dice have a look at the hit dice because monsters have hit dice too and if yeah. you um they they always have the average noted but a great guideline i think is to see like what if the monster just was one of the weakest of its species and it rolled all ones yep. mm. yeah it's yeah. basically yeah. The, the bottom line where you can say okay this maybe this was just a random encounter and they they went pretty strong in the first round this is just gone and then if if they really come out strong and you're like, no, I wanted this to be a more memorable encounter. You can just say this monster rolled like basically twenties or whatever, like full dice yeah. on every hit dice. So that's yeah, a, like that, that gives you a great margin to play in. You're in you're, you, you all of you guys kind of said a lot. I, I am firmly in the camp of, I always try to stick to the HP unless it's like a, uh, like character growth kind of moment, like a thing where like, if you know, like I, the 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 thing I always go back to is I I am almost positive that Mercer fudged the HP on Grog killing Kevdak in campaign one. I'm almost positive he did, and I don't. I think it's a good. I think it's a good thing. I think that like if it's narratively satisfying like that in key moments, I'll do it. And then also, I learned this encounter spell because for a while I was just taking at face value. So there was a couple combats you guys just fucking shit stomp me and then eventually i was like okay if they fucking hit me hard round one they're getting some extra hp in round two because like i am not about to get fucking steamrolled every single combat but yeah that was <laughs> it, it was interesting because there were a couple dms that were like yeah i don't even use hp i'm like that's kind of fucked up like that i would that's that's kind of that's fucked. terrible no that's terrible wow. that'd make me like, like, always narrative status i'm like that that doesn't seem like you're playing the game like it's fine but you're not but really you playing dnd &D. you wouldn't know yeah you'd never fucking I mean, know I guess you, like I guess maybe if you were like kind of very invested in a bit of yeah. a rule, rules lawyer maybe you could investigate figure it out yeah, but I, I don't know oh I don't know. no no dude, dude my, my my brother will literally count the health of each creature <laughs> and be like okay we must be about 30 health away from killing this oh one so you I would kill yeah. him. I'm, I'm like, bro. Yeah, I'm like, bro. <laughs> That's like, so fucking counting. meta. I hate that. Wait, what? Yeah. That sucks. yeah, like you would not know how much health any monsters that have. That sucks. As a I hate that. Player. Yeah. I sometimes I'll look up a monster 20s. to see like the 
exact ability if I want to use the monster myself later, but I'll never play around the like meta gamed HP of the monster. Mm -hmm. Like uh, when we first fought the the shit, what are the fire snakes called? The boy tata. Um, I looked yeah. up boy tata just because I was like, this is cool as fuck. But I didn't use the knowledge I gained to like cheat as a player. I also I homebrew almost ridiculous. all of my monsters because I hate that. Okay. I hate it when people try to meta monster stats. So mm -hmm. I take yeah, stats for fair. monsters and then I add features. I adjust that's their HP fair. and I almost every monster I throw at you guys is homebrewed in some way. That's totally fair. The hey one guys, I'm gonna today. I'm gonna throw on a quick little cost. I'm oh. you now. Oh. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, I like it. Look at you. Ooh, fancy, huh? Yeah. Like Harry Potter yes. core, but like, yeah. uh, like nicer. More handsome. Mm. Look at that handsome boy. Look at, look at that handsome man. Okay, roll D20s, guys. Mm -hmm. I rolled a so five, bro. That should be sad. I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a twenty. No, I'm gonna... Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Matthew hit you nudge my dice. Thomas. No, I got a seven, sadly. Fuck. I'm getting I'm getting on my bad rolls now. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna My lie, belief though. was misplaced. You wanna hear mm -hmm. the funny thing about this? Yes. These are from a Santa cost. <laughs> that does kind of track. Santa yeah. is a styler. <laughs> but um I will say I will be running back and forth to check the Thanksgiving food that doesn't burn. Okay. We're gonna do our best. Yeah. It seems like we're like we have a couple. I mean, we have one person down, one person coming late. Toby, I know you said you can only play for, like, you have to go early or a something. Bit, a bit under staff today. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So probably. we shall do our best. I hope we can at least get through part of things today. Yeah. Um, I do have a yeah. thing to DM too. If mm -hmm. we do, if you do still, when we get to end with Toby and feel like still going. I have a couple of one-on-one -on -one scenes with the remaining players I'd like to run, if you're interested at all. If yeah, I don't think I'm going to end the session when Toby leaves, but it depends on where we're at. Like, well, if we're still mid-combat, it might be, I mean, if there's <laughs> combat today, who knows? <clears throat> oh, there's no fucking mid combat today. Even I, if it's one round, there's going to be I have, combat today. I have, I have a, really so I have a quick question before we start. Yeah. Sparky, is there any chance my greatsword can do piercing no. damage? Instead of slashing damage, your greatsword just really it's like a mm. like a hollow night nail. Why why would you be able to st to stab somebody with a greatsword? Yeah, yeah, that means fine. Wow, well, thank you very much. Do you want to be guts? Is that what Is it a is? Specific reason? Um, yeah, yeah, Ulrich. When I first started playing him, I took um the piercer feet. Oh, and okay. I yeah, realized no, absolutely for sure. That okay, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. I will. I'll, I'll add a little bit of role play as so. well. Yeah, you that's like, that's your method. Also, another another request. We can do this in game too, but um, actually, you know what? Never mind. I'll wait till we get in game. I have some fun stuff I want to do, so we'll okay. get in game for that. All right. So should we just get started? Um, Liv will join us mm -hmm. when yeah. she joins us. Okay. Let's I go. have I have directions from Liv, so if we need to, I can do that. Okay. One Liv is on her way. The other Liv is eating turkey. Oh, I see a message do from Liv in chat coming up in do, general. Do Liv's directions just spell I cast fireball? <laughs> Uh, I have, I'll read them out to you, okay? Uh, no, hi, if I meet it before my body gets here, whatever happens, I want badass lines and to kick goblin ass. Also, <laughs> make them suffer, beg, and die are the things that oh, are, are words that were said in my chat. Okay, so, I, listen, I, I have my instructions, and I understand what that means. That's what it is, I understand what it means. No sympathy for the goblins. Um, no, 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 guys. I'm Luther again. Um, I'm really sorry. One more question, and I should know this, but when you crit with a two d six weapon, you only roll an extra one d six, don't you? What? No. 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 I'm. You, I'm. You don't roll again. Technically, you double the dance. So, so double technically, damage, crits so by the book four. is you roll your two d six and then you double that number. That is yeah. what technically critting is. Okay. By raw. Okay. Yeah. That was how I was able to do so much damage with Cruyff on that, like, one turn. I attacked eight times and, like, 90 damage, because I crit, and I had got to do double the 2d6s every time. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, that's nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that okay. works. That right. works. <clears throat> okay. So, can we start? Mm 